creation, a world on the brink. In the age of sorrows, dangers abound, and cataclysms loom on the horizon. But it is not without heroes. The exalted, those chosen and empowered by the mightiest of the gods, are all around the world. They have, and can, pull it back from the precipice of oblivion. That is when they aren't too busy fighting each other. Now, chills as aura. The One Piece is real! Rack as Lathander. You see, I'm gonna put my shovel way up a leopard's butt. He'll become obsidian. And Alatos as Gavel. I haggled a monk for some books. This is not a joke. With Gibberex as everyone else. Try to outrun this demon to be left in the dust. Must band together to save the Dreaming Sea, and perhaps reality itself, from the greatest threat creation has ever known. All this and more on Fate Breakers. Da -da -da. Bark, bark. Also, uh, before that, uh, I, I, before, uh, also, uh, Rex, when were you going to tell me you've been watching Zero? I haven't. I've been watching X Aid. We just got to the part where Dan Caruto activated. Uh, oh, Rex, I have a question for uh, you. Okay, yes? because you made a Zero One reference. Yes. Uh, can I use Can I use my Exalt Milestone to purchase Ox Body Technique? Yes. And purchase. I need. I need to look at those still, don't worry. Well, that leads us, Alatos, what happened last time? Combat. Oh my goodness sakes, alright, so I'm trying to remember because we did not record last week. Um... Or the week after was... Uh, indeed. Or Rune Runners. So, so the last time... I'm trying to think... Oh, uh, Rex, where did you... Uh, do you mind dropping that link of uh, stuff for, that I could get the better attack for? Because I'm probably gonna... Uh, you actually need was. a minor milestone for that, so you won't be able to get it. You gotta be sh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what can I get with the major milestone again? Uh, uh, you have a major milestone still? You didn't spend that? Or... I don't know, uh, the exalt milestones? Oh, the exalt milestones are, are used for charms. Ah, uh, what charms can I... Oh, okay, yeah, any charm, uh, got it. Were there new necromatic charms? Uh, yes, but you need the, the miner to purchase that because those are universal for all exalt types. Okay, okay. Okay, so in the meantime, I could... Whispers, yeah, I could take care of the recap then, since it has been a while since we recorded. Okay, okay. All, all I remember is we talked with Sky Sundry, Sky Sundering shit Gentle Glow, the, what happened last time? <laughs> You see, I glow. Oh, uh, that's me. Uh, uh, well, we had a very, well, we had a very productive conversation about the state of things. I invited them over to Bingo. They said no. Uh, it was great. We joined a band. We're a band now. Uh, we're playing next week. Uh, we do uh, jazz fusion. I'm on drums, of course. Uh, the tortured souls of my citizens are the backup dancers. Things are pretty. Good. Mm. Things are going pretty great for all. Uh, for all glowy. Um, uh, so to explain what what happened, um, they summoned the first age ghost of the previous bearer of Aura's exaltation, who built the hell oh, torture right. city of El Dorado, a and not a rated artifact. I did not I forget. Didn't know that there was more dotted artifacts than my. Oh, nope, the Gaul's Artifact 5. This is Artifact the, N.A. The yes. call of that GM for not giving me a, the strongest item in the universe. Hey, the Gaul, did, level the Gaul did not backfire on you. This did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How dare you? How dare I give you a functioning piece of equipment that didn't trap millions of torment? <laughs> I, Rex, I, I hope you know that when I'm whispering, that is... Yes, I know, I know. Being... Okay, okay, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> uh, through Janus uh, grabbing this motherfucker by the collar and some very impassioned speeches from Aura and Gavel, slash Aura breaking the anti-mind control... Actually, wait, on second thought, Aura would have gotten that exalt milestone from last time because she broke the, uh, the, the, the mental black flips that Glow was doing to escape culpability and all the shit he was doing. Yeah, that's that's something we were trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. So Aura gets the sorry, a uh, Gabo gets the exalt milestone too. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, three, cool. Three exalt okay, milestones. All right. One for each. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
All right, chapter six, charms. Okay, so these are charms then. Got yes. it. These spells are charms, guys. Okay, so uh, quick up. Sky Sundering Shadow was summoned by the party because she was one of the very, very few people who went inside El Dorado, currently sunk at the bottom of the Dreaming Sea, and lived to tell the, well, survived to tell the tale. She's not quite living. Escaped. Wait, I thought you said the spell that I could get, the combat spell was called Fire Kraken. Let's Magma say Kraken escaped. is the sorcery version of Magma. it. But you yeah. can't get that right. yet. That's a sorcery. Why not? It's a necromancy spell. Yeah, I'm a necromancer. Yeah, but necromancy and sorcery spells require the minor milestones because those are universal to all exalted. Oh, uh, okay. 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 I'm I'm sorry. I my brain You can was... pick up a generic charm or a lunar charm with the exalt milestones. Okay, but I thought you said that that the spells were charms. They're listed as charms. It's a little complicated. I understand. My brain is not working. I do apologize. That is fair. Uh, other details. Uh, Sky Thunder Shadow was bargained with to get assistance against the Wild Hunt that is currently crawling way towards uh, the Maw of Cecily, the island home that the group has kind of settled down with with the Ashen Ones. Through very, very, very careful negotiations, she does have rights to take care of any ghosts that are created from the battle, but she can't do any fucked up necromantic experiments with them. She has to actually use their resources as people. Um, Wait, Straw Maiden Janice is Janice is actually a named character? Yeah, she's been a named character this whole time. She's the example exigent. Oh my lord, I could have just <laughs> cheated! Uh. What do you mean you could have just cheated? I could have looked at what she had it if we ever had a fighter. Oh, you did, but that upper th that ship has sailed, and or I know already did that. <laughs> Why do you think I yelled? I could have cheated. Uh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry. Luckily, Nue um burst through the door like in the end of Shrek One to stop you from making a really big mistake in terms. I object. And she um, is now helping to mass manufacture flying troops for the Ashen Ones, too. Because she because both she and Sky Sun and Shadow, air superiority is fucking important when you're fighting dragon bloods. I, thank you for remembering their names. I forgot I was going to call dead name them the Deadites. Oh, speaking of dead naming, I apologize for misgendering I and Seven Despairs, the NB uh, mad scientist death lord from last time. Right. Sorry, I. Uh -huh. <laughs> Basically, take a picture of 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 Doctor Insano, tint them purple, and that's I and Seven Despairs. Oh, They're all toe. I I I no 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 I, no, I, no, I. no 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 not all toe. They are the cat god of Cthulhu. Why, I, I, why I, can't I, I, I Why can't why can't I remember their your names? eyes hypnotize? Why can't I remember their name? I don't know. So why I, cat, I, I, why can't I remember his? If you direct your attention toward the map, side. you're currently on on roll twenty. <laughs> this is the island that Lathander won ownership of through winning the tournament in um in Shampur. However, there's something strange about it. You do see structures as uh, Seven Obsidian Leopard has been working on building a manse there illegally as a squatter because you set off his limit break earlier. The thing is, all oh, the structures okay. you see on the island appear to be translucent as you come in on New Way's back via the standard mm -hmm. whale ship plan. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cora? Lathander? Yeah? When this is partially constructed, that is in the most literal means possible, there is a specific lunar magic to partially construct things and then have them function like they're already done. You could build a building and use it when only half the building exists, just like as a substantial reflection in the moonlight. The downside is if you stop working on it, then it just completely falls apart. Uh, this is a partially constructed manse that is through lunar bullshit functioning as a full manse. The, the downside is that if you take him out and take claim of the island again, the manse will fall apart and you'll need to rebuild the fucking thing on your own. Hmm. Do I have the will? Sorry, do, do I, I don't know. It's up to you. This guy was your teacher. Do I have the document stating that this is mine? You have the heartstone. So can't I just get 
summon a lawyer demon to cast him out? That's a sorcery spell. And you're a necromancer. There actually is a summon a lawyer god in the Sidereal's 3rd edition book. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well then, let's see. What do I do? There's so little I can do here. Let me let me see. I'm also looking right now to see if I can find something that I like in my uh Moonar charms right now. That's perfectly fine. We'll go we'll do a bit of exposition as we uh, go up there. Seven Obsidian Leopard hasn't appeared for quite a bit. He is one of the uh, staple lunars in the Dreaming Sea section of creation, set upside Mount Namaz on the other end of the Dreaming Sea. He and his partner, Tanisa Ringeater, have been major polities in the region, fighting against imperialist expansion. Oh, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, morality is not necessarily included with that, and either one of them can kind of, much like anyone else, are capable of being assholes, Including stealing Lathander's property, and being a, oh. and being the bad kind of necromancer too, alongside that as well. You see, he has actually bothered to take the spells to summon undead quantities of soldiers. Insert clips of Skeletor, or Quan Chi, whoever you want here. I'm going to have to try my best to do a good Wule. I think I'm going to just purchase another uh, thing of Manifold Hunter's task tactics. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I will reveal what I have... I, I will reveal what I have purchased in due time. In the meantime... Oh, wait, actually... Oh. That's actually dope. Uh, changing phases transformation. Ooh. I can commit one moat and redistribute all my to redistribute my characteristics however I desire. If you could shuffle your dots. Uh yeah. And attributes. Mm. Oh wait, no, I need to I need to look at that to see. Okay, those are my attributes. I wish it was abilities because that would be funnier. But that just means that I can pump up one hmm. Is that worth it? Sorry, continue on. Lothander, how much do you remember of Seven Obsidian Leopard with the very slowly acting memory restoration? I remember his weakness. Do you? Yeah, uh, tickle his left ear. Good luck getting close enough to him for that. Yeah, he just shatters into glass. Other detail you would you would know about him is that name is not just for show. He has a habit of making clones. Seven of them, at least. At least. And everyone make a um, fortitude. Everyone make a fortitude plus integrity roll on approach to the island. Fortitude oh, integrity, brother. eh? All right. One, two, three, four. This is how chills realizes. Oh, actually, uh, mountainous spirit expression seems pretty funny. I could become That is a, very funny. I could become Kaiju. a legendary sized creature. Yes. <laughs> Two successes. Gavel ain't seeing shit. Uh, nope. what do you want us to roll? Uh Fortitude integrity. Yeah. Everybody. Fortitude integrity. Yep. I'll roll Everybody. for a new A too. Ooh, Ooh I only have see. seven dice. That get, New A has six. For this. Integrity. I, I do have a, I think I do have an integrity. Yes, I do. I have an integrity uh, essence. Actually, wait, no. I do that. Oh, think, wait, I have five. Oh, wait, suggest. no, I only have six dice. Never mind. I, I lied. Glad I checked because I would feel bad if I passed because I got four successes. Oh my god. Right, oh my god. Here goodness. we go. So Both now, of you. Now we're in it was business. difficulty four, though. Both oh, of you passed. Okay. Or Ooh. three, rather. Difficulty three, actually, now that I double check. Equal to your one success off! You remember the adventure in the Ooh. underworld when you were hunting what you determined later was the Heart Eater, who was mm. a participant? Or it was actually it was a little bit more complicated than that. The Heart Eater was just three. It was Neon who was running the Soul Steel trafficking ring in order to increase misery in the region to hit a quota of people he wanted to make miserable. You remember seeing a being in there. A ghost. Presumably what you now probably suspect to be the ghost of a sidereal who who had like a gazelle carp body 
as a reflection of one of the martial arts that he knew in life. You see the figure of a gazelle cart briefly on the horizon before he enters into the very, very top spire of the manse building. Uh, and the reason this is rolled with integrity is because there is a don't there is a don't see me effect being applied to him right now. Gavel, for whatever reason, you, you're not able to see the top of it. There's just a chunk of the building uh, missing. Ha. Huh. A second eye also mm. extends, and a, a eye grows into existence on top of Nui's snoot and gazes down. Uh, I don't think he's. I knew he wasn't done making it, but this is another level. That's really. What did someone hit that with an annihilation sphere? Hmm. The other two players, though, you you saw uh, the sidereal ghost for, dead on. Uh, well. So that's where you went. To... Wait, no, is that the one that we took, or if, this, one, the face, I wish this I could one? Forget. This one got away. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, there's a face I wish I could forget. The island, uh, courtesy of. Uh, birdiemaps.com, patreon.com slash birdiemaps, thank you. Uh, you can approach from any angle you want. This is, this is a abstract positioning system. Uh, where would you like to come in from? Uh, where's, uh, I probably want to come in from, like, here. Okay. There is a dock. Uh, Nue ends up phasing partially through the dock, and she unceremoniously ends up shape-shifting back to her human body, and all of you are dumped in the ocean, because the dock's not solid. Mm. Wait, shit! Oh, damn it. Is your fire dust still good? Yep. Okay, just, good, good. Just right. Anyone here have Spirit Cunning Glance turned on? I always do. Um... Uh, I do have something uh, uh i have something else that's not spirit cunning glance that i purchased recently but it's not speeding spirit cunning glance so it's, it doesn't work all right new way turns hers on and we see that there's a, a a pretty decent amount of ghosts trawling around the islands setting stuff up and uh primarily in what appears to be ritual implements that latino will recognize this guy's causing a shadow land on purpose i don't know if we we have detailed once or twice what a shadow end is. It's the border between creation and the underworld, the plane of existence beneath this one. And shadow lands are normally their places where a mass death happened, battlefields, graveyards and stuff. Obsidian Leopard is appear to be experimenting with a method to just make a shadow land without needing the mass slaughter. Pretty good. That would be pretty good. Yeah, but uh this is Lathander's property, and also, uh, Lathander, he want. remember when he tried to take the bones yeah. from you to turn into a super weapon to nuke yeah. Kanthahar? The bones. Yeah. Obsidian yeah. Leopard's not really a great person. And even if this is a fairly bloodless method of Shadowland creation, this is not a good thing. Is there any way that I can turn it Uh-oh. off? Interrupting the procedure before it's complete. He wants to take his face off. In a face off. As an as a note, Lathander, you have never seen Obsidian Leopard's real face ever. Well, I mean, no one here has seen my real face ever. Okay, what about, that's valid. What about the green? The green. Shh. That green. Do you want to walk through the front doors? Do you have any other additional questions to ask? I am going to uh, fly. Any I am preparation? going to fly onto the rooftop. Mm. Oh, yeah, nice as a bird, so people can this. sit on top of me while activating. Uh, where is it? Because I have it. It's funny because it gives some minus. T- it reduces the penalty by two for for stealth. Uh, where is that? Oh, the stealth charm that lets you use your stealth rolls for everyone, right? And gives a minus two to, uh, guiding shadow shroud. I, 
The Exalt okay. shares her gift for subtlety with more conspicuous allies. Commit one moat. The Exalt may activate her stealth excellency, perfect shadow, stillness, or similar self only stealth charms on behalf of other characters, helping them to move. If they stay close enough range of the Exalt, they reduce penalties to stealth rolls by two. Okay, go ahead and give me a uh, stealth roll. A, 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 any attribute plus stealth roll opposed by the ghost's tertiary pool and. Let's say also the tertiary pool of, of of Leopard. He's not really focused on detecting intruders right now. Three. Three. Defenders win well. ties. I thought that was because Ooh. of Solars. Uh, this isn't Aura making the, the tie roll. I... All right, oh, I see. Oh. Now, because you tied, you do at least get close but enough before they notice the you. Minus two. Minus two to what? Sorry. They get minus two. To what? To the. The pool yeah. size. Okay, let's re-roll that as five dice then. Ooh. More successes. Activate. Use nope. More. Let's try that again. Oh. Nope. All right. Let's no. have the ghost <laughs> roll then. Let's see if we could get uh beat three successes on three dice. Watch it roll three times. Ooh. Damn it. Well, Not that's quite. certainly almost. That's certainly three D tens. Or what it resembles three D tens. Nope. One Not success. In the least. Alright, so for now you are unspotted and sorry, you turn into a giant bird yeah. Yeah. through the mountainous spirit yeah, expression. To carry everybody on my back. Penguin. For the sake of, uh, for the sake of making sense of what the fuck you're doing, let's assume they're inside right now and thus can't see you. You're peeking in through a window. Okay. Waddle. Wow. Uh, are you landing on top of the building? Yes. Or are you just hovering next to the door? Okay, you're landing on top of the building. Yeah. You hear very faint murmuring voices that would need superhuman awareness rolls in order to detect what they're doing from here. You need to get in closer in order to determine- I would to like to, uh, what determine... need to roll for the hearing? Uh, fortitude awareness. Let's see. Awareness. Three. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to make it. Let's okay. see if eight dice can carry me home. Difficulty Cut, seven. No. Ooh. Unfortunate. I can't hear uh, Aura can. Aura has good awareness. She can give it a shot. I could. Let me go ahead and give it a try. Uh, how much awareness? Awareness and what? Uh, fortitude, awareness, difficulty seven. Alright, seven D ten. I don't think I have a at least if I have uh, an awareness excellency. Uh I've got navigate, integrity, and range, range combat. Combat and embassy, so no awareness. Alright. Show me seven successes. Alright, I was close. Oh my God, oh, I actually my got I got goodness. it. Oh my god, I got it. Shit! That was exactly seven successes. That's exactly seven. Thank you, double tens. Oh my goodness. You have to That's focus considerably to make out what they're saying, and focus. it is very faint, but I'll give you the conversation that they're having now. Well, and your ritual, as ill-advised as it is, should be complete by the end of perhaps the week up, up, upon the new moon. Well, that is good to know. We'll be able to send in the our little surprise <laughs> to Prasad when their army comes here then, and they won't know what... Sorry, wait, you're not interfering in the wild hunt? No, no, he needs to learn how to take care of himself. And besides, if they win and they take it back with them, well, that'll be the first shot in my war, won't it? You're a fucking asshole! Yes. But they, but we all know that as much as your background irritates me, you know that they are much worse. They don't kill people. Well, I don't do horrible imperialism to people. That's not a, that's a false equivalency. Fuck you. I'm not interested in debating philosophy with a fucking sidereal, even if they're dead. God's how I wish I had been, God's how I wish that I'd been able to break those bindings. But no, I'm struck dealing with a fucking lunar right now. Who's trying to tear down everything I spent centuries building. (laughs) 
Well, you can thank our own first aid shelves for killing the Neverborn in the first place, can't you? It's all of our faults we're in this fucking shithole. And such arguments of similar caliber as these two banter. You do catch the other, the ghost's name, however. Ragna Empty Palms. Oops. So wait. Okay, so what I so what I just heard was there's going to be a ritual complete in with in around the time of a week. Uh, a lunar and a sidereal are talking about some kind of uh, about. Uh, well, specifically, uh, in- this is leopard and a sidereal's ghost, the yes. gazelle carp guy. Ragna, Ragna empty palms ghost. Yes. Uh, so they're taught. Yes, I, I I figured it was. I figured it was a leopard as well. Um, and so they're talking about being something being the first shot in a war, specifically if if somebody wins, presumably us, uh, presumably us, and then taking something with us. Uh, I don't know what that specifically could be, but that is apparently something they are accounting for as part of their plan to initiate some kind of war. Uh, they want to fuck with Prasad in some way, possibly through that uh, week, uh, week, uh, that ritual that's going to be completed in a week. Am I missing out on anything? Um, the only detail you missed that if you guys lose and the Wild Hunt wins, this also <clears throat> plays into their plans. There are contingencies no matter who wins against the Wild Hunt. I see. You that's do why- realize that. The easiest way to foil this ritual is to stop it mid-completion by getting him the fuck off this island, because they're talking a lot about the Domain's local geomancy. So, evicting uh, him from this island by force or via convincing him is the way to stop this bullshit. By force or via convincing way that huh? we can? Is there any way that we can just move him? Oh, wait. I have a I'm question. Does the gall count? Him. Does the gall count as him, uh, Convincing them. Does the goal count as him what? Leaving the island. It would need to be. You want to abduct. Do you want to abduct. You want to abduct some. You want to abduct Leopard and his ghosts into the goal, is what you're saying. Yeah, because we have the ghost of the Neverborn in there that would probably kill him. Mm. Nope. She let. Uh, she was ejected, remember? Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I did eject her. Good. I have my wife in there who will probably kill her. Maybe. Well, uh, I have a minor, uh, I have a minor virtue of, uh, I have a minor, uh, virtue of compassion that says I'd rather talk than fight if possible, so. I would, I would very much, I would very much like to, uh, convince them before fighting. Are you gonna just go down and knock then? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on. Light Thunder is going um, to post up. I got, I got, I got a- I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta talk it out with my, with, with my, uh, friends here first. Nope. All right, uh, all right, so, we got, we got a lot of issues in our hands. Kind of, then, kind of a damned if we do, damned if we don't, damned if we don't situation. Apparently, Leopard has got contingency plans, uh, riding on whatever, on whatever the, uh, outcome of the wild hunt may be. Talking to some kind of ghost named Ragna Empty Palms, Sidereal's ghost. Uh, apparently, their ancestor uh, elimin- uh, eliminated all of the uh, uh, the Death Lords. You said Chris? uh, they're the, the past Neverborn. age incarnations. The Neverborn. Yeah, they killed right. the Primordials, and that led yes. to the Neverborn, which indirectly led to everything else. Right. Right. So. Yeah, so they've got a ritual set up to uh, be uh, be concluded within the span of a week. Safest bet to uh, stop that from happening is evicting them from the island, either via words or fists. And I, and you know me, I'd, I'd rather talk than fight. So, you know, we could just knock. We could just knock, or we could... Try a subtler approach. Hmm. Well, I'll leave that up right. to you, but 
I have a feeling I'm going to have to. I will have to punch him in the face. Right. Personally, as as much as I would love for a good fight, I feel at the same time we need to stay at our full strength if we're going to be taking on the wild hunt. Mm hmm. And I'd rather not be spending so much time resting for the wild hunt as much as preparing for them. True enough. All right. I'm about to go in. Wish me luck. And, uh, before I go in, I want to make a mental note of everything we know about, uh, Leopard, uh, who I suppose is the originator of the ritual. Yes. Uh, so uh, we know you, that they're... Yeah. Uh, you know that so, he is a, just as strong a necromancer, more so, than Lathander. Lathander only basically just got into the uh, second circle of necromancy. This guy's been there for centuries. Right. So, uh, aside from that, I meant more in terms of their, uh, their motivations and all that. Their, they want uh, Prasad to burn. Right. They want Prasad to burn. They have a major intimacy of the realm and all its tributaries must be destroyed. Right. And is there any reason for that? Not that you're aware of. Okay, hold on. I, do, I know I have a charm for this. Uh, let's see. Aha! There it is. And, it's, and it has the exact right wording I'm looking for. Motive discerning technique. This is going to be very, very useful uh, for the incoming, uh, for the incoming conversation. Okay, I'm not gonna knock and knock. I'm not knock knocking on Leopard's door. All right. Did that? Did, did that do anything? Is not nothing is yet. Leopard going to respond? Ooh, knock again. Make a uh, fortitude plus athletics roll. Wait, what? <laughs> knock hard enough for Leopard to hear you. No, oh, brother. Not quite. Um, not quite. Oh boy. Okay, that fails. Uh -oh. That's when the swarm of ghosts pick you up by their arms and hurl and, and haul you off into the sky. Oh. Oh no. We just see a very long wide shot of. Aura being yeeted into the sky, screaming. Dragged all the way around the building. And dumped in what you recognize once you come to your senses as a storage cabinet. Uh, hmm. Do they do it, do it gently, or am I just nope. tossed? You're just tossed. Uh, Footsteps outside the door, and uh, Lathander, or someone with his face... Bends down to look at you. Not oh, the most yeah. dignified entrance for a Sun King. At I'm least. Knocked. I was being polite! That you did, but a message in advance would be nice so that I could properly receive you. Uh, Why are you here on right. my island? Because I want to talk. Very well. Let's talk. Uh, God dang it. What did you put in those boxes? He actually bends up, and walks across from you, and looks inside. Rice. Sheesh. Hard rice. Ouch. Well, yes, it's specifically treated rice for use as ritual components. That box beside right. it is real edible rice, though. Right. Still need to eat. Mm. Okay. Mm. <sighs> okay. So... Does it not? I, uh... I presume you know about how the, our situation, you know, what with the wild hunt coming up? That I do. It's not the first time they've been rattling swords trying to encroach upon the entire coastline, but it's the first time they've actually been driven to action. I suppose seeing you take down the heart eater. Take down that heart eater was enough of a warning flag for them to call in the biggest wild hunt since the Bull of the North. Setting information, I've mentioned the Bull of the North once or twice as the only other surviving solar uh, who got anywhere near 
achieving empires or anything good before uh, the the Jade Prison broke open and everyone was let out, including you. Oh. He is currently doing a lot of empire building himself for morally dubious ends. He had kind of a Pyrrhic victory against the realm. He took out one of the ten great houses' entire legions, but two of his circle ended up fucking dying in the result. So he's currently tending his wounds and looking for their successors. Right. Essentially, a a wild hunt on that scale is coming for you guys, according to Leopard. Sheesh. I'm surprised. Honestly, I'm I'm surprised they... I'm surprised they aren't so... And they're so focused on us, given... There's a lot of people messing with their... Given there's a lot of people messing with their property that they don't know about. You did also kill a member of the Five Score Fellowship, for my intelligence. Five Score Fellowship? Sidereal. Mm, you killed them? You killed, them? You killed the member of the Five Score? Oh, right. That, that jerk. Um, that's true. Didn't really... Did we mean to kill? Did we mean to kill him, or was that accident? Was that like the, the accidental drag to hell? Okay. We a hundred percent meant okay, it. Okay, yeah, yeah, we definitely, we we definitely meant to kill him. That's true. And regardless yeah. of any interoffice policies, there's only they they are the least of the exalts in terms of number. There are so few of them, and any loss to their department is something they would want answers for. Right, that's true. Uh, I suppose there's no I suppose there's no action without consequence after all. Even if it does the intentions are well if if you have well meaning intentions, everyone's always gonna want uh re- do recompense. It's the kind of thing you gotta prepare for, I suppose. I assume the others of your circle are here. My student, for example, he's just pointing at his face. Hmm. Yep. Just right. Well, I suspected uh, it was time for clash between student and master at some point. Oh, oh! Before I forget, uh, uncon- I'm gonna commit a moat for unconquered sun sight because the that uh, says here. Ah, uh, this is something new I picked up. Uh, for the scene, Solar recognizes when someone uses deception to masquerade as something toward which uh, they have an intimacy. Uh, when the player suspects falsehood. She may ask the story- storyteller, uh, are they lying, or what is being concealed here? Uh, the storyteller must answer truthfully. This reveals only the falsehood. Uh, and I don't, I haven't repurchased it, so I can't do the uh, other thing. So you immediately realize this isn't Lathander. Well, I know that. Well, I figured that. <laughs> Lathander is still oh, on the roof. Yes. Plotting. Menacing. And shitting on his chimney. Marking my territory. Yeah, I'm just always. I'm, I'm just I trying do. to. I'm just trying to see lie to see what lies come up. Oddly enough, the coating of the roof seems to be hydrophobic. It's just oh, sliding I'm off. On it. I'm marking it with right. a pen. Oh. Okay, that seems to be sliding off too. Won't be stealing his form. Yep. It's almost like he's done this shit before, too. He knows how to prevent it. He doesn't know this. I pull out my shovel and mark my sigil into it. I suppose... Nope. Oh my goodness. Uh... I suppose I should be... I suppose if I'm being forthright, I should... I might as well tell you. So, uh... I didn't mean... uh, I, I didn't mean to listen into your conversation, but... I did hear you talking, and I've been meaning to ask you, uh, what's your beef with Prasad? <laughs> Do you have all day? Oh my goodness. Uh, well, I have the, according, well, according to your own words, I have the, um, what is it, the biggest wild hunt since the Dawn of time, pretty much. Since the Bull of uh, the North. Since the Bull of the North coming from me. Uh, so, yes, and so, not exactly, but I'd rather talk than fight if that's, if that's better for you, so. 
So you want to know what the whole plan here is? Well, I'll answer that with a simple question. Do you, do you hate evil? Do you wish to see it scoured from this world? Hate's a strong word. But the evil's pretty bad. I, I can't say I care for it too much. Yes, as I understand it, that's the reason Soul picks people like you out. Hmm. Just about, yeah. So then you should agree with me in terms of principle of the Empire needs to be dismantled. They are doing... Right. Their list of crimes are far too numerous for any any one person to list. They have crushed millions of lives under their yoke, and Prasad's just the first stepping stone, you realize. They're still an extension of the realm, and oh, I'm only... Okay. I'm only in my late 900s myself. I have plenty of time to bring those... To bring those imperialist dogs to heal. Hmm. I, as Rex, mentioned does previously, he have pl- does he actually have plenty of time? Uh, he has not detected any. You have not detected any lies from him. Okay. Uh, did you say as mentioned previously? You were going to say. Uh, as mentioned previously, they're just an expansion of the realm. Right. They the uh, history of Prasad. Huh. As you, as it is in this modern age, is these two fail sons of houses, Orphis and Bawaro, were sent on a punishment detail for pissing off the Scarlet Empress. The and he spits as he says her name, this name, for uh, for pissing her off too much. They were supposed to subjugate the locals. They instead ended up joining them because they stumbled upon a religion that worships dragons as gods. Now, their immaculate philosophy normally says no about that sort of thing, but they saw that they were being handed power on a golden platter. Right. And And they're far enough that the Empress can't reach her with that sort of creation. Mm. And now that she's gone missing, it's the perfect time to start dismantling all of it. And plan on doing that with this, uh, Week-long ritual you're running? Oh, it's been running for far longer than that, but it'll culminate this week. Ah. Uh, and so, I wanted to ask you about, and what about the ghosts? You know, with uh, Ragnar Empty Palms, I think you, I think you, you said his name was. Uh, and he just kind of laughs again at this. I thought it was a very funny jape to bind a sidereal to undo that which he constructed in life. Uh, as much as he's allowed to complain about it, binding will unfortunately wear off after some time. Not even I can circumvent the old laws dictating terms of service. It's very funny, though, isn't it? All you have to do is be nice. Right. Um. But yeah, what's this? But yeah, what's the deal with the? Uh, what is this? Uh, what is this ritual exactly? You're trying to get done. It's opening a shadow land. You're doing what? What now? I didn't hear that. I didn't catch that. You're what? Opening a Shadowland. Do I know? Do, do I know? Do I know what that is? Uh, yeah, it's gateway between the underworld and creation, where you could cross over up to one side what or the now? other depending on time of day. Okay, so you want to summon an army of you want to summon an army of the undead to take down an evil empire? Oh, oh no, no. Well, I mean, I've already done that, and I'm currently building on it in the background, but that's not what this is for. Right, right, right. Wow, also, how dare you not just... Then then what is it for? Then, then what is it for? This is another step in the project. Mm-hmm. That, that step being? Taking care of dismantling them. By doing through sorcery, well, necromancy. Is this like need? To, is this need to know basis, or are you just like yes? Are you, hmm. All right. Uh, fucking. <laughs> uh, let's go. Mode of discerning technique. Let's do it. About time. Finesse embassy. I was just trying to run this. Uh, I was just trying to run All the right. clock. Let's see. Uh, excellency, that's gonna be, what, how many? 
12d10. Let's see how many we get. All right, that's Ooh. not bad. Six, six, six successes. Six successes. That's three is. questions, I believe. Three questions. All right. Um, Wait, no, it's one for each over, so four. Ooh. Uh, okay. So, all right, guys. Uh, all right, party. Sorry for the metagaming, but I wanted to, but I want to be nope, able to decide. Metagaming is fine in this all instance. All fine. And it lets all everyone else talk. I have, I have difficulty deciding. Uh, what should we ask? Uh, first, so here's a list of questions once again. Uh, does Indeed. the character feel positively, negatively, or neutrally about me? Uh, I mean, we don't need to answer that. Do, do the character and I share a virtue, I think. So, yes. The answer is probably not. Probably yes. Uh, oh, we, oh, yeah, true. Probably yes. Do the character and I share an intimacy? Also, pro- also definitely yes. That we share the intimacy of Korak, of uh, Lythander. Oh, yeah. Uh, haven't, what haven't I noticed about the character? That's a good one. Mm. Uh, how could I get the character to do what I want? Also a nice one. That seems pretty good. Uh, and also the uh, the upgrade. Uh, the upgrade with uh, wise-eyed cur- uh, career method. Who's really mm. an authority here, is another question to ask. I would say, mm, uh, is that all of them? I, no, I'm, I, I'm still running down. There's, there's four there are many questions. The expanded list. Oh, goodness There are sakes, many, right. many questions. Uh, what do I have that someone here wants? Mm, uh, okay. What would constitute a grievous faux pas in this circle? Mm. What grudge is being hidden? And who doesn't belong here? I, mm. uh, as, as my personal opinion, I like what grudge is being hidden because I personally feel it's weird. It's like a weird, like, yeah, everyone we meet that's mm. like, yeah, 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 Empire Prasad, it's like, you know, they're evil bastards and they, they suck shit and I want to, you know, destroy them. Like, mm. we, we've met like a person I'm in at this time, but like, We've rarely ever been able to get, like, a personal motivation that expands beyond that they suck and they should die. And I mm. feel like Leopard maybe has something like that, and they're not telling us this. Maybe? Or... Um, personally, I... I um, personally, I'm thinking either... What is, uh, how can I get them to do what we want? Seems like a good one. All right, so. Or. Yeah. Okay, we get, don't worry, we have, we get four. We get four questions. So we, oh, we, we do. We, we okay, get, thank goodness. We get plenty of, uh, we get plenty of options. You can go ahead and pitch them now yep. if you'd like. All right. I, what would be a faux pas would also be good just in case yeah. if we can't think of anything else. How could I get the character to do what I, what I want? Seems to be something we're like pretty good at agreeing with. Uh, okay. Like that, or do you want? Think of. Do you have like a good? Do you have a suggestion? Okay. All right. So okay. let's start. Let's start with how could I get the character to do what I want? That depends on what you want. Mm-hmm. I want. Um, to get them to leave this fucking island so the ritual yeah, stops. Again, give them an alternate location that is equally as mm. powerful and aspected to a lunar. Oh, uh, this reminds me. Um, I wanted to ask, why are we trying to stop Leopard from doing the ritual? I forgot. I, 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 rem- I don't remember if there was like a specific reason. Well, the Fander said he wants he, he earned this place via the tournament, and this is kind of using his property for presumably some stuff he doesn't approve of. Yes, I won the tournament. Wait, he won the tournament. Yes, Life and this is Lythander's yes, now. Lythander. We need to get rid of oh, the, uh, the, the, he, won he the tournament. Arc. He snatched it. Yeah, Lathander, oh, okay. Yeah, Lathander is the one talking to Aura right now. Oh, Smile. Okay, mm. so I understand. Okay, so I understand. So that's what we're trying. So, so that's what we're doing. Yes. We're trying to get him out because this is our house. Yes. Okay. This is our island now. Okay. So we got to figure out a way to give him a new location to park his ass into. Uh, we can have Joffrey eat him. We are not letting Joffrey eat him. This person have Jeffrey eat him. on the no. island. What is a good? Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, there's Jeffrey. All right, Jeffrey. I would kill Joffrey. Oh, right. Jeffrey. 
He's stronger than Blopper. That would I kill poor that. Jeffrey. Do not fuck with. Do not. Do not mess with Jeffrey. So, <laughs> additional information I could provide is because this is aspected towards death. There are also domains and places of power aspected towards mm. death. So that could also do the mm. trick since he's a very strong necromancer. Those are all in the underworld, right. though. Right. Okay. Mm. I think uh, didn't we didn't we pass by a place like that? You did, yeah, kind of. You never got to do a full geomantic analysis on the place since you lack anyone in the party with trained specifically in geomancy. Uh, I that's think as- Lythander would. Well, that's done I think through. Lythander would be able to, do, to well, tell which, which place it was. That falls under a charm called Wondercrafting Initiation, which is what's needed to build artifacts and manses. Right. Well, I meant. I, I, what I meant by Lythander is specifically like that they would be able to remember the place, not necessarily that they would rem- be able to like identify what, like how how good that place would be for them. Uh, yeah, it would just it was it would just be a way uh, at least a, we have at least a place to point them toward in case we decide to be like, all right, yeah, we need the we need the house. Yeah, we're we're, we're, we're doing a we're, we're doing a thing today here. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Okay, that's one question. We have four more. Three more. Three more, yes. Excuse me. Uh, faux pas, faux, maybe. Faux pas? Hmm. That's the best I can think of right now besides the, uh... Hmm. What was the one you brought up? The, uh, the any grudges. I actually go with that one first. No grudges being hidden. Do you want which, which one do you want to ask first? Any grudges hidden. What, what grudges being hidden? Okay, there definitely is a personal aspect to his hatred of Prasad that he is not telling you. You're pretty on the money with Ooh. that. He, when he spoke right. specifically about their formation, he spoke with a personal venom that makes it sound like he was there. Right. Or, at the very least, has deep history from them. He's mentioned being about 900 years old, and uh, that about matches when Kamthahar was independent before the Dragonbloods came here. They were an empire in their own right before the Dragonbloods came and juiced it. Yeah, that's. Huh. Yeah, that, I definitely do not like if there if there are innocents in Prasad, I, that definitely would be a bad situation to leaving them all to the to the ghosts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do not. Uh, in addition to that, however, uh, he al- also he mentioned when he was mentioning this specifically about the wild hunt. I, I've heard rumors that there's another Sidereal leading it. One of their top brass. Oh, yeah? And that is the other grudge being hidden here. This plan with the Necromancer mm-hmm. shit isn't just to strike back at Prasad. It is specifically to hit a middle finger against against this Sidereal. Hmm. Let's see. And this uh, Sidereal being Ragnar and Pipa. Nope. No. Okay. He specific, uh, they were mentioned in very different sentences, and presumably this one's alive. Mm. Perhaps Is you did art of her. Someone, what are the... Oh, what are the odds that this is someone we've talked about extensively over the past few mm. sessions, Rex? Fairly high. Mm. Oh, It's almost like I've been foreshadowing someone. Time. <laughs> the lady with the time knife. The time knife. Yeah, we've all seen it. The infinite time knife. Okay, so yeah, it so cuts he's... it like butter. It's more of a time so fist, try- to be honest. So she's trying. Cuts it like butter. Okay, so Leopard's trying to summon a gate to the underworld to fuck with Prasad because he was slight because his empire because the empire that they were a part of was slighted by Prasad years ago, and they're trying to fuck with the lady with the time knife. Okay, that's one. That's another question. That's already like a pretty good, a pretty good situation. What would could constitute a grievous faux pas in this circle? Spilling his plans and secrets. Stealing oh, okay, his fair. plans and secrets. Okay. Yeah, Whatever fair. he's okay. telling you is something that is in confidence and should be kept close to the chest. And there's a reason he's been cagey in regards to the specifics of his plans. Even from my 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 immediate party. Yep. Mm, okay. Then I I will I will I will heed his warning. Uh. 
In that case, that just leaves us with one more question. Uh, what haven't I noticed about the character could be one. Uh, why do I have that someone here once could be another. I feel like who doesn't belong here is pretty on the on the nose. Uh, we <laughs> don't belong here. <laughs> Although technically he doesn't belong here. This is our house. Uh, uh, who's really an authority here? Probably him. He's probably way stronger than we are. And, um... Mm. Not way uh, stronger. At least significantly stronger than we are. I have a stat sheet in case you guys fight him. Mm. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think? Should, 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 what should we go with? Uh, why do I have that someone here once? Uh, and what, or what haven't I noticed about the character? Uh, I feel like we... how many more questions do we have? One. One. One more? One. Um, yeah, it's uh What do we what do we, we have learned that they want? We have um yeah, we already learned grudge. Uh we mm. we learned grievous faux pas. Faux pas. Uh we learned uh how to get them to do what we want. Yeah. So yeah, it, uh, and and that would be a good follow-up question to help to What do we have that they want? What do we have that they want? The heart yeah. eater bones. Oh, uh, no. yeah, we should have. No, yeah, right. That We knew that. We knew that already. Ah, oh, damn oh, it. Oh, wow. Oh, well, well, that's good. I, I, we got three out of three out of four is not bad. Well, no, additional uh, corollary. Something equally as powerful aspected to necromantic energy. The War Strider. Oh, yeah, no. That's two, that's two very dangerous artifacts to put in the hands of mm. someone motivated entirely by grief. Um, so hear me out. We were able to beat beat them we were able to beat a war strider that's true but that was a baby mm-hmm. war strider that was an incomplete model yeah that yes. was war strider 0.1 yes that was early alpha oh, war strider this would be two that, this will be a, pre-beta this was a pre-alpha war strider on steam yes. green light what now about, what about a full release it, war strider yeah what about gold state war strider Oh, brother. Um, yeah. Uh, F17 DLC on disc. Is there really nothing we know that that could get them to, like, move? Is there really no other place we know that could get them to, like, get out of here? Mm-hmm. Not currently. Not Darn. currently. Fungus. <sighs> okay, I guess we're just going to have to wing it. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. when that... So... You're talking about my pretty mightily about uh, justice and all that earlier. Bringing an evil empire to justice being a big, pretty big call, pretty big, um, you know, pretty big commitment. Ignore, even considering ignoring the uh, possibility of innocence in this, innocence in the state, must be. Um, you must either be real committed to the uh, to the cause or. There's something you're not telling me about Prasad and your his you and Prasad's history. I don't know what is there else to say. You don't need a reason for wanting to tear down one of the world's greatest evils and injustices. Sure, but you don't. But you do need a reason to uh, ignore the possibility of heart and innocence along the way. Oh, I don't think we need to worry hurt, about that. Who hurt you? Who hurt you, Edward? <laughs> uh, he is going to uh, commit a moat for Garden Mind Meditation. Commit one moat for the scene. Mm. The Exalt increases her resolve against read influence actions by her essence. Four. She gains one automatic success wow. on social influence actions, which take advantage of her lack of emotions. While in the state, she may also read her virtues as applying to resolve against any persuade action. Mm. Let's see. Is there anything I can do to this isn't... remedy that? Well, this is just him upping, up, putting up his social walls to make it harder to find out what his deal is. Right. His only verbal response there is that, well, they did. I, I believe that, but how'd this happen? How'd it come to this? Well, it was some uh, centuries ago. The specifics aren't really as important. Okay, so we're going to go with a listener swaying argument now. 
Okay. Uh, spend a moat on step four to reduce the cost of purchasing Persuade and Dissuade for one success. Uh, if an intimacy or virtue raises the difficulty of the influence, add one additional success on step four. Uh, and if the Exalt possesses a principle relevant to her Persuade or Dissuade action, gain double nines. Uh, so that's going to be a spend. In yeah, I definitely do have the... Uh, uh, life is everything, uh, principle. Okay, and you had detected that you do share a virtue. I do share a virtue, so that's, uh, persuade, that's gonna be a persuade action. What do I roll? Uh, presence plus, uh, any attribute. Bleh. Okay. Bleh. Here we go, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go excellency for force. Uh, no, I don't have excellency. Oh, brother. Um, show me seven successes, I guess. Nope. That's two successes. None, not enough. Do I purchase? I, I purchase successes? Uh, uh it decreases the persuade. difficulty to, it decreases the difficulty to one, you said? It says, uh, reduce the cost of purchasing persuade to one success. Uh, Is you that... still need to overcome his resolve for that, and you did not. Is damn. He has a resolve of four. Damn. <sighs> really sucks that I have to roll pers presence for that. You could try a retro stunt if you'd like. Hmm. In terms of describing what exactly you're saying, because it's a little unclear how you're persuading All him. Alright. Uh, let's see what I can do. Look. I... I haven't really... Did. I'm... I've been kind of on a kick in terms of uh, figuring some stuff out with people, people's past. And the first thing I've been kind of really if realizing is, you know, everybody's got, everybody's got ghosts in more than one way. It's something that tears you up, up inside. It, wishes, it makes you wish you could forget. It's all about this, um, uh, it, it motivates the actions you take forward, but a lot of the situation, but it can also easily lead you to making rash decisions, and ignoring, ignoring potential risks. All I'm saying is part of healing, part of healing from, part of healing from the situation that you're finding yourself in is learning that there's more to this life than blind revenge. I know that there's a better way to, I, I know there's a better way to get even than this. And I'm, uh, taking in the, uh, persuasion of, um, everyone has value, uh, of my, uh, virtue of wonder for everyone has value, everything has meaning. Okay, yeah, so double the stunt rating then. Because so the integrity we'll shit. Four extra dice. Okay, give me some. Give me some successes, baby. Come on. Please. All right, that's two, two successes. additional successes. So, normally, Solar's win ties, and that would work. Unfortunately, oh. he has Righteous Lion Spirit. Upon learning this yes. charm, the Exalt strengthens one of her major intimacies, making it unbreakable. She cannot oh be forced to goodness. act against it by any outside influence. Only through her own wow. choice may she betray those feelings. He has applied that charm to Prasad Must Fall. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, he 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 does hear what you are saying. He takes it, commits it in. Oh, it's the collateral damage you worry about. Don't worry, I've long accounted for that. You've Those... accounted for that how? Oh, and only targets them. That's them be That's pretty vague. My targets. That's pretty all right. He's smiling as he says this. He is get it. He is that, enjoying that's... driving you in circles. That's pretty vague, there, Chief. <laughs> all right, look. This is not exactly the reason. This isn't necessarily the reason I came here. The reason I came here is my friend Lithander won this place fair and square, and he needs it. 
Well, that man can't talk his way out of a paper bag, so it makes sense why he why he sent you. I sent myself. I love talking. That's fair. Uh, but yeah, we need the, we need the house pack. Uh, we we got a we got a we, we got some 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 trouble uh, headed our way, as as I'm sure you know. Well, I and, need uh, usage of it, but if you want to, we could work out a deal where you could have it after I'm done in a couple decades. What? Uh, You'll live I that long. Think, I, I don't think we have a couple decades considering the, 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 you know, the overture playing in the background, get drawing closer and closer. Ah, uh, yes, that As we really speak. fucking annoying song. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, uh of we course. Have, of course, if you really uh, want me out of your hair, you could always just take it via force. Best of luck nah, with I that. Don't li- nah, I don't. I don't think so. I'm here to make a counter offer. Let's hear it, then. You said you needed this place for um, thanks to the uh, underworld juices powering up the ritual and all that. Uh, if we could offer a place. Uh, if we could offer a place that's uh, better than this, could we maybe guarantee that you could, you know, bugger off a little bit? Do you have any of these places nearby? Well, not near, not necessarily what I would call nearby. We do have a place in mind. Question is Gavel next to. Is on top with me, or is Gavel with Aura? Gavel is probably with Nui, actually. Nui is also on. Uh, Nui is also on. Uh, uh, on Lathander's big back. The roof. Oh, okay. then I'm just probably. So chill- Rex, I'm probably chilling back, playing cards Rex, with you. Rex, yes. I have to ask you. Hey, Gavel, it's been a while. Should we go check on I them? I trust Aura. Rex, she'll be yes? fine. I, th- I, I don't know. Aura may or may not be selling Jeffrey. I have. <laughs> I have to ask you a question. Go ahead. I need you to rank leopard and sha- and uh, uh, and leopard uh, leopard and sky sundering shadow in terms of how how bad would it be if we decided to let them have a war strider? Oh no. Hmm. On like a tier list. That's actually format. a really fucking difficult <laughs> question to answer. Oh no, I don't like that. Both of them are pretty fucking bad. I'm going to have to say, by a very teeny tiny hair, Sky Sundering Shadow, because she resonates with Soul Steel, whereas uh, Leopard does not. He is neutral towards it. All right. However, it is very fucking close, as you understand these people. Right. Mm-hmm. <sighs> do we give them the bones? Or do we I would not rather give not. The bones? I would rather not. We need the ants. I'll, Don't I'll, want to fight him. I will. I will flash back to you. You can always try and remove me by force. Again, I do not like that idea, and I he's, definitely want to make sure he's not unbeatable. He's just difficult. I know, really powerful. I know. I just. I. Wa- I, I don't want to fight him because he's Lifehander's master, and like that's, and that's like. Uh, this seems like a good opportunity for if anyone wants to come down and interrupt this scene. No, they don't, mm. because that would be a grievous Life- faux pas in this, in, in this situation. Lithander wants his master dead. Okay. So, I know you don't. Okay. So, I know you don't. So, I know you want... Lithander is going to shrink his eyes. So, I know... I'm going to turn Dad, back to human. We need this to be in confidence. I am going so to. I'm not going to tell them about what we gain, just. To gain so as I'm not going to tell them what we just talked about. Can. Trust you. Okay, we'll roll to, my trust in you. Roll to build well, and he will uh, roll a, uh, a suggestion action to sense someone honing on, on his turf. 
eight successes. I'm so... going to go ahead and uh, Sun King Radiance. I'm oh going to my go... goodness. Oh, oh. Uh, Sun King Radiance to uh, help Korak survive. No! <laughs> uh, ten God successes. So the good news oh is, Lifehander, you do gain uh, four wealth. Wait, no, five wealth. The bad news is that not only does he know you're there from rolling that many successes. A fun thing about Seven Obsidian Leopard. Remember when I mentioned the name about the clones yeah, and the duplicates? Yeah, clone right standing next to me. There's a seven. There's another Lithander on, on the roof now. Oh. Well, hello there, my student. <laughs> yes, yes. Use your use your words. We're all adults here. Why are you on my property? What are the chances that we can still talk? You said it's your property. <laughs> I I pull up the legal document. I I, le- I pull the up the tournament legal document. Arc. This says this is my property. That's a piece Last of answer. paper. Yes, that <laughs> legal states that this is my property. Would you like to get? It? Would under whose authority? <laughs> under the authority of the owners of this property before you stole it from me. I didn't steal it. It was unclaimed. It was not unclaimed. It was a tournament (laughs) prize winner. Ning. Under whose authority? Rex, help me out here. Whose authority? I forgot the name. Technically, heavens. Under the authority of heaven. And you think I give a fuck about that? Would you like a lawyer to come? (laughs) Would you like me to get a lawyer here? If you could find one, yes. That would be quite entertaining. Okay, so Rex. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the tier list argument again. Okay. Dun, 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 so <laughs> who's uh, trying that? Between the war stri- between the war strider and the economy's bones. The economy's bones oh, are stronger. Goodness. Which is wor- which is worse? The economy's to, bones to by far. The a hundred percent. The economy's bones so, is going to be so much good worse. Good lord! So we have so the the war strider is the better option. Holy shit! Would you rather shoot yourself in the foot with a forty five? With a or rocket would you launcher. Rather shoot yourself in the foot with a 50, no, no, with a no, 50 a rocket yeah. launcher. <laughs> oh, uh, it, it's more like, God. would you rather shoot yourself? Yeah, actually, the shotgun versus rocket launcher comparison is pretty fair. So that's. Yeah. So that's the all. Is, is that seriously the only way we can get him to leave? You can beat the shit out of him. That, I would rather without not. beating the shit out of him, Rex. Oh, unless he wants to beat the shit out of uh, us. There's got to be a better that's... way than this. There's got to be a better way. So, Leopard, Fucking... uh, again, why are you on my property? Can I make a read, inten- can I make a read in- Can I make a read intentions roll? You can keep in mind the difficulty is increased by four. So it's a difficulty eight From to find out exactly what he's doing. Fucking Jesus! And how? And what do I have to do for this? <laughs> uh, either awareness or embassy plus whatever attribute. Fungus. Oh. Okay. Uh, fucking embassy. I'm gonna roll at embassy because I'm absolutely because uh, I have an excellency on that. Right. As for the Thander's nice. question, well, I'm here to continue my war against Prasad. Come on, we spoke about this when during your train. Oh, right. You don't remember. <laughs> All right, I'm a roll. Uh, can I can I stunt can I stunt this goddamn roll? If you can think of a, yeah, if you want to enter your mind palace and think of a good argument for how you're reading this guy, because he's also still down there talking with you while being up confronting Lathander. Oh my goodness sakes! All right, um, both of them look like Lathander too, by the way. Look. Cool way I can make this guy so. So, anyway, my dear student, Aura, you'll have this back in a few decades. Don't worry. I just need it so, what are you Aura doing here with it? And a... don't you dare say a few decades. I need this now. You can have it in a few decades if you want. So, well, unfortunately, well, unfortunately, I need unfortunately, this. I own this now, and too. need it. So, you can just leave. No. So. From dealing with glow, we can do this peacefully, has... or we can do this the easy way. That's not. That's a good becomes... one-liner. 
All right, continue, so, chills. So from dealing with Glow, Aura has gained at least a, a little bit more experience with people just kind of talking in circles without any particular uh, exit valve for where they actually want to go. Uh, and typically in this situation, it is a point, uh, the point that they, they're they trying to make is that they are motivated, uh, is that their motivation typically is attempting to block out the uh, possibility of an uh, of an uh, an alternative due to a high investment of time uh, of things like time effort or grief into any particular venture this you know particular what? Actually, do, uh, mode can be leopard. awakened you want it? this particular uh, hey you going to let me talk or Sorry. are you going to have to let me finish or what <laughs> uh so this particular venture can be can typically be reasoned with by finding the point at which the person is not willing is uh you know hold it in anymore because that find the breaking point of their dissatisfaction because at the end of the day exalts are flawed, self-centered people. And no scam goes without a call-out. So, All right, Lithander yeah. is going to become a landlord here for a second. Oh, God. Oh, is there boy. anything else... Oh, no. Is there anything else that I can add onto this roll? Is there any aiding that I can... Is, is, is Lithander's annoying antics enough to yeah, annoy him like... into telling me what... into telling me the so, truth? So, to count question. As an eight, to, to count what are you as going to pay action? me then? Because I'm thinking about three trillion tons of jade per day after trying to attempting to steal it. Well, I can't steal it if it wasn't claimed. I know it's within our nature. Actually, it was claimed. Just because you have a fancy magic rock doesn't mean you have a complete uh, ownership of the property of, uh, of this island. I could just as easily make one of those now myself. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Then why do I have it? And you, you got don't. lucky. Oh, I got lucky, you say, after staking my life on the line. This seems... This seems like it's good Where were you as... when, we, when we fought you against... Fight, sorry. Well, I can't remember the second serve. Uh, where were you when we were fighting against Octavian? Where were you when they decided to put a wild hunt on me? Where were you when they decided to steal my daughter? He's also going to start building well. Oh, boy. As he is uh, using his own Shadow Hands casting to continue with social influence. Oh, no, you so, don't. Not in front of they, me. Is he trying to socially influence Lithander? Yes. Oh. He at, least get, he at least gets my integrity bonus thanks to something. Oh, you want to talk about Red Hand Rebirth? I can tell you everything I know about her. If it means I could get... If it means you shut the hell up and leave this to the adults. Oh. oh yeah, I yeah. am you're what, an Becky? adult! That's nothing. He's... Trust me, my dear teacher. I've lived through way more than you can achieve. Oh, you have not. Rolling his persuasion pool against Lathander with major, the, the oh intimacy boy. of the daughter. <clears throat> oh, I think right, that fails. Right now. That does King fail Radiance. since due to Sun King Radiance, yeah. Wow. Right. Uh, pow, one power, one anima, one will. Oh, uh, and because defenders went ties. Not due to Sun King Radiance. All the three. You got. You got oh, wait, I got is Lathander in range? On. No, uh, with Sun King Radiance. Uh, okay, I still so have a resolve normally three. this would persuade you to just calm the fuck down, essentially. And you, you yes, said defenders you are have defending. wind ties, so yeah, you're fine. So I have a resolve of three. There is no. There is ten, no yeah. ten. There is no ten. So, yeah. No, it doesn't matter about Sun King's Radiance. And what is the thing? Okay, so what else can we do? So you uh, and... You get, you two are both at the same will, I think, then. So, 
Okay, so does yeah. this count as an aid action, Rex? If Lathander is, is... Yeah, this could count as an aid action for Lathander. Lathander, roll an aid action as your... Either presence or performance, your choice as you are screaming at him via distracting his other body. Alright, I'm going to use a stunt. Or Excellency. Not a stunt. I am going to use okay. a... Uh, Excellency. Yeah. Ooh! Uh, so, uh, that adds... Eight. uh. Five successes to Aura's roll for read five intentions. Five successes? Five, five dice, sorry, five dice. Uh, I hit dice. Oh, uh, I was gonna say uh, five successes okay. is really good. Uh, did the extra success, did the extra dice do anything? Uh, no. Oh, that's annoying. Actually, oh. I think it's a two for one convert to auto successes. Okay, then, um, that's, uh, that's gonna be... And an additional auto success because uh, it's it's three additional dice left over, so it's not enough for a uh, for a uh, for a second. Two auto success. success is just one auto. All success. right, here we go. Two twenty d ten. Let's see oh, if boy. we get anything. Hey! Oh my goodness! Seven, hey! eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is the eight, auto. That beast is the resolve of eight. Oh Thirteen. Say. Furthermore, that was further boost that Prasad must fall. You beat it by one. Wow. What? Yes. Oh my goodness. This is a centuries, a late centuries old exalt, nearly into his one thousands, which is middle age for exalts, or celestial exalts at least. You think back on everything he said, and you pick up on a single clue that unlocks what the fuck he's talking about. He mentions, at several points, the word disease, referring to Prasad being a empire as a plague sweeping across the southeast and dreaming sea of creation. And because of these... Question, does Lythander hear any of this? No. No. Because Lythander... Okay, because I was going to say, Lythander agrees with with him a bit. He just does not agree with the methods he's going for. Specifically, you could... and. You link it with what he's mentioned of the site of the Sidereal with her secret citrine arts. Citrine pox of contagion, filtering in from the sheer bullshit amount of successes on that roll, is another Sidereal martial art. It is simultaneously the strongest medicine in all of history, as well as a horrifying disease-focused martial art. Somehow he's gotten a hold of one of the diseases inflicted by that martial art, and he intends to weaponize it. Mm. And of course, mm. diseases are he- diseases are heavily associated with death. Mm. He's gonna weaponize a plague. Content warning for war He's crimes. Fine. Yep. Mm-hmm. Man, I've been getting a lot of war crime fiction in lately. It seems yep. that is what you saw <laughs> through the Danganronpa panel. Forty K. He oh. wants to unleash a supernatural disease on Prasad, one that's powerful enough to inf- to to affect exalts too. Mind Palace Seriously. complete. All right. So, Leopard. You don't know that. No, I, I know. You this is still yeah. just being mad at Leopard yeah. and screaming. Yeah. So you're telling me. Are you, you gonna answer, Leopard? So you're telling me you intend to. Hold on, I have someone else on the other line. Oh, so you're telling me you intend to release a sea train plague on a sea train plague on the Empire facade, strong enough to wipe out all all life within that immediate radius. Oh, wow. You are more perceptive than... Maybe I should have been a little more careful with my wording, but it's not all life in the immediate vicinity. Humans. Gods. Not even any animals. It's... If you figured out that much, I suppose there's no harm in telling you about... I forget the exact name of what they called it, but it's the disease of joy. I figured it would be appropriate to bring in for someone who loves crushing hopes and dreams as much as they do. The Dancing Plague. Mass hysteria. Oh, no, not... nothing... not much to do with emotion. It literally causes them to dance to death. So, is oh that, no, is, you're is just going to use the chaos yeah, it, that it, out of re- to kill people. Sometimes. But out of character, isn't that literally inspired by a phenomenon of mass hysteria? Yes! But in this, it's lit- it's not hysteria. It's literal poking people in the meridians until they dance. 
Oh my dance, goodness. Monkey, dance. See, when I say, Afro, circus, Afro. you see, that's what I mean. See, that's what I mean. I can't approve of that. That kind of, that kind of, the kind of mass ass uh, destruction that could cause. In that that fact, cause. Lysander would actually approve of this. There is absolutely no, that there is absolutely no way. That that's not that that doesn't come from a place of personal vendetta. I can't. I have the tools to help you, and I have the tools to, and I have the tools to comprehend you. End these, to end this horrible cycle of revenge and death. But I can't help you if you don't trust me. I trust you, but you gotta trust me back. If Lythander heard that, he would have punched Aura square in the jaw. As hard as he could. Why 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 is that? You never trust a lunar. Yeah, well, I trust people easily. This can backfire. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it assuages some of your concerns, no, it won't kill everyone. There are ways to recover from the disease, etc. The main reason I'm using this one in the first place is because it affects the Chosen as well. And it would be very funny to see those stuff up imperialist bastards dance themselves into gra the grave, eh? So you wouldn't particularly... So It affects the high class, too, is essentially. Mm. Uh, because it's spread through dancing and it goes through all those galas like wildfire. All the poor people aren't being invited in there, now are they? Thus the innocents are spared. Only the rich burn. Hey, you're... I hate how he's actually making good points. All right, but how? All right, but how does this information help me get him out of my fucking island? Good question. Mm. It doesn't. Not yet, anyways. Oh, Gavel, do you have anything to say to this man? Let's, since you're also with Lathander uh, in the middle of this, this shouting is not, match. This is this is the combat encounter, by the way, people. We are. Arguing back and forth to see how how we can get this guy off the island without fighting. At this, him. at this point, Gavel is just is just like this is not my moment. This is this is a personal matter. I'm just gonna be over here. Gavel, summon your lawyers. I, I swear, if you say you don't have lawyers, I'm gonna. I know you're lying. I'm. A soldier, not You want to tap unwoven coagitator to ask a demon lawyer? <laughs> yes, sure, give me the demon what lawyer. What do you want to ask them? Alright, so, hey, do, uh, is there any, like, decent lawyers I could summon up here? Or rather, I mean, yeah, in, in relative perspective, up here. Um, to help with this sort of legal jargon hey. for Lythander's, hey boss. uh... Hey boss. I can help yeah. out. Yes. I know a little bit about law. Oh, and by the way, is there... Oh, oh, oh by the way, um... Good... Oh, no. This, uh, this reminds me, Rex. Uh, was there lies at any point during what he said? No. Zero lies, John. Zero lies? Absolutely no lies whatsoever. Absolutely none. Okay, so he really does just intend to eat the rich. Okay. Zero lies, Johnny. Uh, um... Hmm. What are you talking about? You know about politics. A lot of political dramas in my time. Oh, Let's oh God. See. So what do you, you, want, you want me to step in? <sighs> Lythander. No, this is, my, this is my moment. Yes? Do you want this demon's help? Do you want Novari's help, yes or no? How much are they asking? Well, no, it's more... That is a good question, actually. Why do you want to help? Because I think I can do a good enemies to lovers plotline between this guy and the ghost. All and right. while they're busy making out, you can take the island. All right. Oh. Gotta... Oh. The question, does Lythander hear any of this? Nope. All right, I gotta... Uh, because Lythander would say, I'm down. All right, I gotta... Oh, my fucking gods. Um... All right, I got a plan. Okay. I'm okay with your... I'm okay with your plan. On their one condition. Mm -hmm. We're not raising... 
We're not raising Prasad to the ground. We're going to overthrow Prasad. Non-targets are going to be on site. If the plagues is... I gotta get your guarantee that the plague is not gonna target them, though. And if it does, because if it does, that's gonna be a lot more dead bodies on your conscience. Primary motivation of this mission is to bring justice to the people. Is to bring justice to the people that did you wrong, and that did so many people, so many other people wrong. Oh, I already killed those. It's their children I'm worried about. That's what I mean. Need to overthrow. If you need to overthrow Prasad, need to overthrow Prasad. Raising it to the ground is just going to generate a lot more homeless people. Well, I really should. We I really should bring you. We really should have this discussion as a whole group. Then, so if you'll excuse me, he sprouts enormous wings from his back and flies you up top towards everyone else through the okay. window to the wall. Uh, the question does uh. Does Gavel tell me uh the price? Gavel will say, I have a sneaking suspicion you might actually like this idea. Okay. Anyway, right. who has been quiet Gavel. this whole time? Indeed. Steps forward. Gavel. You know we could just beat the shit out of you and take this place. Isn't that We're how final exams work that. in the pact? Sparring between master and <laughs> teacher? Yeah, but we're not gonna do that. Why not? She says, giving you a side eye as you're being flown up by another leopard. I mean, don't want to see any more of this. Don't. Enough dealing with our problems by force. Lythander is just sharpening his shovel. I would like to make a gain power action by sharpening my shovel. I've I've already invested too much. Uh, we are we are uh, an hour and thirty minutes in. I've, at this point, I am committed to the bit. Uh, Lythander is committed for murder. <laughs> oh no! No Gavel. one said social influence and combat can't intersect. Gavel, put a yes in. I have because also Lythander is okay with this too, as long as he gets a. I think. That I know something. I think I know something that Leopard might want. More than this island. It's not I'm the bo uh, it's not the bones. Oh, if you give me the bones, I'll leave without question. Oh, it's definitely like not the is bones. going to look him dead in the eye and say, <laughs> We won that too, you hussy! But it's something. That's you do know you named yourself after the it. worst animal. Well, no, leopards aren't cheetahs. Never mind. I apologize for that. I almost wanted to say that cheetahs suck because they do. But it's leopards at least have a use. Probably fairly bad. Also, I'm I want, listening, and I want your approval to know if we can tell them about this. All right. Anything what? inside my gall is mine. Anything Gavel inside our gall, the gall, is ours. It Gavel is gives, mine. Just Gavel like this gives, island. Gavel gives a dead-eyed expression to Lythander. Yes. You already know. Leopard. I can tell. That's why I said it. Leopard. Yes? We have a war story. You don't... Dot! Do you know? Lythander is we blowing do. up. We abducted. Hey, hey, we do you want to have Lythander limit run. break? What does my limit break do? Uh, <laughs> limit breaking is your uh, emotional episode shit. What oh. is your personal limit trigger condition? Did you design or great. decide on that yet? Great, great curse oh, trigger. Not. Yep, great curse. Uh, yeah, grace curse. Uh, acting against a major virtue or a major intimacy, uh, rage towards the Neverborn, hatred of Ram, uh, uh, knowing about my daughter. There are a few specific lunar specific ones, daughter. too. I must remember my past, no cap, that's almost completely done. I will always give others the benefit of the doubt, that's no longer there. There's a specific, um, lunar condition, too. What they experience strong neighbor, they're unable to express her address. I'm not sure if that would apply yet, you're still able to express her address this. 
Mine! Oh, yeah. Mine! Mine! <sighs> I'm not giving anything else to Leopard. Is there really no other way to do this? Leopard. You know what? Fine. You know what? I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna ask you candidly. Is there any way that we can get you to leave this island without giving you anything in the goal? Defeat me in a fair fight. What's a fair fight? Let's determine that first. What do you consider a fair fight? My no magic? Fists only? Oh, no! One on absolutely one on one. All the forces mm, I can bring to bear a... versus all the forces you can bring to bear. We're not having a repeat of what we're just about to do to the oh, wild. I'm not going ones. to kill any of you. I know. I'm worried they will. Why That's don't you the help problem. us then? Why don't you help your poor student out? You know would that you like student to, debt is major. Would you like to make a persuade action? Oh, uh, sure. What does he have to roll for persuade? Presence. Ah. I have a bunch of that. Too bad I'm not the one doing this. Can I use performance? Anyways. No. Why not? Oh, uh, or you, uh, sorry, you Gavel, you could do a assist action for Lathander. I would love to do an assist action. Okay. What do I need to roll? Okay. Uh, presence plus force, and you can describe how you're doing this or pop charms into this as you wish. Uh, let me see. I don't think I have an excellency in presence. No, I don't. I need to do that next time I get an excellency uh, thing. Right. Um, let's see. Mm, no. Oh, excuse me. Goodness sakes. All right. Um... No, okay. I'll just do the assist action force plus uh presence. Presence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bop, 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 bop. Uh can I add in a stunts by chance? You describe what you're doing or how you're saying it, yeah. Yes. Alright, so Gavel's going to be looking uh is gonna be kinda hovering over Lythander's shoulder. All right, now if you want to be able to properly instill intimidation or persuasion in this case in your foe, AKA this motherfucker right here, this is how you stance up to do it. And Gavel is just going to loom with a very scary look into Obsidian Leopard's eye. When Kira does when doing over Hayato. Yes. <laughs> right. Um... Well, they are the same height right now. Indeed. So let's see. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Four successes. All right, Lathander, add two dice. I'm going to try to stunt this. Okay, keep in mind, Ooh. as a lunar, if you want to develop any intimacies towards this man, you can immediately proc that as a major one, and any lunar action supported by an intimacy go up one dice. Ooh, that's fair. A major intimacy of respect. Oh. Because I'm respecting his hustle. Okay. Oh. Like, Lythander is respected. So, so, here, so here's the funny thing. You know how Lythander acts. This is all just an act to see if he can make his master back down. I actually did not know about that. It's hard to tell. You can be kind of unpredictable. Th that's what he respects about Leopard right now. He's dealing with my BS. Do you really think you're the first one of these kinds of students he's had? I'm going to be the first one to succeed. Perhaps. <laughs> Potentially. Now then, so where were you to help me out in those situations? Hmm? I think an answer to that will be part of a persuade action. Wah, that, wah. Wait, Four. that Successes. ties, but did you add a stunt? No. Add the stunt. Add the stunt. Add the stunt. Oh my goodness! One additional success. <laughs> One. One. Succeed. Let's go. I was busy getting this ready, if you must know. 
And besides, we're limited on time before the ticking time bomb that followed stars preparing goes off. Then why don't we just work together? In a more... humane way. Because you were too busy getting your shit back together mentally through the memory erasing magic. You didn't want to help me through that? I can't help you through that. That's in here, he said, tapping your own head. The only person who could fix a curse of that power is you, because it is your mind. I, I know, but you could have, I don't know, helped with advice? When I was first just basically n nuked? Well, it seems like you're doing a great job handling it on your own. I'm going to make that intimacy of respect hatred. Are you? <laughs> no. I'm okay. Joking. Ah, I found the name of uh, of the fucked up dancing disease. Uh, Aoife Media, the revel outside the ceiling of gates. Huh. So, uh, so he is going to hard bargain out of this to do something related instead of committing to help out, right? Okay. He's going to hard bargain to leave my island? Nope. Damn. Oh. How about this, then? Going to the terms of what your failure of a mate said, pointing towards Nue again, she flinches at this. Let's up the ante. Ooh. If you successfully defeat me, I'll assist you against the Wild Hunt. If I win, then you'll succeed. Then you will assist me in finalizing this and getting the Ifmedia ready. Does do I know what the Ifmedia? Nope, is? that's is the that first what? time he's mentioned that out loud. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could go ahead and tell them. He says, pointing at Aura. Since I already just mentioned that, feel free. Do you do you say that all to us? Because I I remember what it is the the dancing disease. Yeah, but in character. The, uh, but I don't. Yeah, he did get. Uh, Leopard did just give Aura the go ahead and go ahead and say it. I already just said it. Aura, will you abide? So Aura will reveal the details of Leopard's plan in its full in its full extent. Unleashing the dancing uh, disease on the elite of Prasad. Yes. Ooh, actually, it's all, if it's only the elite, that actually... Damn, this is why I respect you, Leopard. Well, by its very n method of transmission, it won't affect the poor and dispossessed. They're not going to the gallus. It, it, yes, but it could affect them a little bit if they figure out what it is. I mean, I will actually help workshop this shit. Don't the, <laughs> don't the elite, like, have, like, slave butlers? Like, aren't, aren't they, like, all there? You think they let them dance? I do not know. Oh yeah, true. Fair. True, but what about the small kids, though, that might be make-a-wished up there? Nui is now pointing her spear at Leopard's throat. Hey now, hey now, Nui. Uh, I actually like his plan here. I, I just want to workshop with it a little you bit. You like this horrible fucking plan! <laughs> well, they're He's weaponizing disease people. and... Any disease, by method of its nature, is going to spread, no matter how careful you are. Well, that's not always yep. the case. Not if we put it in. Not if we encase the area into a shadow Every... land. That basically isolates it from the land of the living. That's not what he. Uh, he's uh, making the shadow land here. Yes. He's bringing the shadow land to us. Nue turns around to look at all of you. You understand your... You're the toad on, and the viper's on your back. You've heard that story, yes? Extremely... We I'm extremely well-versed in that little fable, yes. Mm. How about we settle this with rock, paper, scissors, shoot? I'd rather not. How about not. we settle this with bashing this monster's face in? Lythander is going to make a heel turn. I, I'm going to make a new character real quick. That's going to be joining oh us goodness. on the adventure so as the good guy. Oh my goodness. So now, I guess there really isn't no. So there's really no way we can convince you to get out and to get out of here. And what was that you mentioned about a war strider? Okay, look, let's not did talk about. Did we say anything about a war strider? I never. Or I did say the word war strider, I believe. 
I yeah. did say the word war strider. Or uh, did ex All right, let's simmer down, everyone. <laughs> oh, gavel at the front seat. Don't make me turn this car around. <laughs> now, even though we, even though yes, we both have the similar goal of wanting to take down the Prasad Empire. This is correct. But I have to be a bit on the side of New Way here. I've yes. seen way too many war crimes to know that this is this indeed little, a war crime. This little slippery slope of yours is not going to go as well as you think it will. Lythander, Lythander remembers his past lives curing something similar. It's like, oh shit, no, that's bad. It is in fact pretty bad. <laughs> As someone who, in previous lives, has no doubt committed several right. war crimes of her own. Flashback to you being the 40k Inquisitor back in the first age. Yeah, right. blinding light of divine judgment. Kick-ass name, right. by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um. So, yes, no, a... fine. You know what? Fine, let's Lysander. do this. Lysander. Lysander. I have a plan. Oh? So, Lythander's gonna to cast Glorious Exalted Bolt. On? Who on? The Leopard. The Leopard. No, you won't. Not quite. Not yet. <laughs> Fine. I've got a plan. So, you mentioned you were you. So, you mentioned you were using Citrine Arts. Or at least well, the ghosts no. found. Sidereal. Yes, Sidereal Martial Arts is beyond me. However, he snaps his fingers. There is the heaviest sigh any of you have ever heard. And anyone with spirit cutting glance can see drifting I... towards you, Ragna. Right. Oh, uh, Leopard, you do know there is somebody at the bottom of the ocean who can use Sidereal Martial Arts, right? Shush. What? Yes. He's fighting fish and sharks right now. He cuts when fighting fish and sharks with legendary size. Leopard? Yes? I don't like your plan. But, it doesn't mean... It doesn't mean your plan isn't workable. I think the spread... The disease should not be allowed to spread at, at all. If it, Actually... If we're going to I... be... If this is going to function, we're going to have to work... If, if you're going to attempt the o to overthrow Prasad, you're going to have to work as a team. Aura, I have a dumb idea. Lapbird, you might want to close your ears, but you might like this idea. What if we teleport them to, uh... What was the... What, what was the Atlantis place that you... <laughs> El Dorado. We can send them to El Dorado. So you want to send them to the hellish to the hellish timeshare that we are already on our en route to obliterating? Yes. Lapid, what do you think about that? That seems like quite the distance to travel, to be honest. How would you plan on getting them there? Gaul. Shadow. Ah. Uh, sky sundering shadows mirror magic. Wait. Wait, she's... And he actually seems to pause this. That's Void Sir... Son of a bitch. That's even beyond what I can do with my necromancy. Yeah. We know some... We know some people. So what do you actually think of that idea? You'll need an additional persuasion action. Alright, who's got the best right. chance of persuasion? Uh, persuasion, um, I mean, that would depend on what, uh, at ability. It would, it would be a presence roll, I think. I, sure. if it's a presence, right. I have five yeah, presents. I would also, I think I can also roll embassy. Since I'm the one proposing the idea. If, if you can beat my, if you can beat my five presents with your embassy, then no, absolutely. Do you have uh, an excellency in Presence. Not in presence, no. Nah, I have, a, I have, oh, I only have four aware. I only have four embassy, but I have an excellency that I can just. That would still count as eight, I believe. I will say, yeah, Ragna actually, Ragna speaks well, up. He is dramatically underestimating how powerful that disease is. I was like, shut the fuck up. 
No, no, I will not. That's not in the contract of the binding. Uh... Oh, shoot. Hey, Wagner. Yeah, that's why I want... Millennia. That is also why... That's also why I didn't want to go with a disease plan. Shut the fuck up, I can modify it. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Lysander Lysander speaks up. My past life couldn't, so you can't. Well, at least it's good to have at least one honest body on the field. (sighs) So, you have it. It just so happens that uh, Sky... That we... uh, are currently on a lit on a uh, cascade of favors with um, the sky sundering shadow. If we can get her to call off, if we can get her to call off help helping us with the wild hunt, we might be able to repl- to repurpose that uh, that favor to help overthrow the government of Assad by sending them all to El Dorado, thanks to her mirror magic. You know, it would just be simpler to kill them all. Yes. Oh, it's worse. Yes, but then we'd have, have blood on been... our hands, and they they wouldn't suffer hell. Have you ever been to El Dorado? No. Do you know what's... Uh, so, how long have you been alive? You said 900 years? Yes. Uh, so... Well, I've been to the outskirts. Uh, I've never been inside of it. Yeah, there's, um... Uh, there's, there's mortals, um... Uh, uh, there's mortals that have been uh, suffering uh, eternal life without the joy of living for 500 plus years down there. Uh, let me guess, the usurpation broke it. They were fine until we were all murdered. Uh, no, not quite. I think they were never fine. They were never going to be fine. El Dorado's a pretty bad project. But we're going to we're gonna try and fix it. And it's a great place to trap somebody in a way that they can't leave. Why not just kill them? You see, but you that's no do... fun. Question, do you, I mean, do you, you want do them to... Again, you could do that if you want. It's, you know, we can exit and leave at, at will. But, um, you know, they, sure can't, die, they can't die in there. But they also can't leave. They can't leave, they can't die, and they can't eat, they can't sleep. He's going to do a read intentions roll on you. Alright, what do you, what do you, uh, Uh, my resolve is big. I'm pretty sure. How much is my resolve? Is there any way to... You could no, use an excellency to boost your res- to boost static traits like defense and resolve ah. too. Static traits to boost resolve. Let me see. I guess I could. Uh, I guess I could go with um, every. Everyone has value. Everything has meaning. Or something. Okay. Yeah, you I could guess... conceal whatever your actual intentions are behind that bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My actual intentions is, man, I really just don't want to unleash a fucking un- uncontrollable plague on Fair. Like, literally everywhere. And I think that's important to say. Plague. I think that's important to say for the audience. Of, I don't think our heroes yeah. want to use disease as a war crime weapon. Yeah. Yes. Just noting yeah. that out loud. I just uh, we want to use actual war, not war crimes. That's fair. Yeah. Honorable war, not the not the messed up, not parts. real life war. Or yes. Aura doesn't even like war. She just wants to fucking not. She just wants to put the evil people in gay baby jail forever. Okay, so Ugh. regardless of the method, even if I did agree, I need to know that you guys are capable of playing in the big league, so to speak. I did refer to you as children, and while that is somewhat insulting, and in hindsight, I should have chosen my words more carefully. I do need to see that yeah, you're you, capable of... That's a habit. That's been a habit of that. Yes, yes. I need to see that you are capable of... The thing about the dragons is that many of them are centuries old as well. Not as old as myself, and not as powerful one-on-one as myself, but the issue is that there's thousands of the bastards. And several of them, their commanders especially, are... 
it would be difficult to say if I could take a full hearth of them in a fight on my own. With my armies at my beck and call, yes, but it's the numbers game, unfortunately. And having a full- Hey, do you want to summon Octavian? You currently can't. Thank goodness. This is true. No, no, I'm saying that to, uh, to Obsidian Lockhart. Oh, I can't. I'm mm. not a sorcerer. Hmm. Well, uh, if you were, he'd be... A, he, a gust of wind could kill him and send him back. I beg your pardon? We ruined his entire empire. How? Oh, well, Gabble, would you like to re regale the story? I, I, I guess we're just... I exactly. guess we're just telling him all of our all of our story now. This is a clip show yeah. episode now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess it is. Um. Well, I'll I'll give you the uh the clip notes as it were. Um. So me and my army uh beat the living shit out of him and his uh newly born uh soldier children. He almost stole all uh, Ireland, Jeffrey, but we we took him back. I ripped out his soul spine, which glued, which glowed blue for some reason, and uh, I smashed it and uh, gave him an infinite curse. Well, I say infinite, but uh, we both know things aren't always as infinite as they appear to be. Anyways, point being, we we have uh, we've managed to beat Octavian and reduced his empire to rubble. With just our own forces alone. What do you think we'll do to you should fists start to fly? Uh, in character silence, as I'm thinking of an appropriate response for that, give me a yeah. moment. That was real good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm glad I could, <laughs> could properly do that well. Fuck boss, everyone. Aren't you glad I mentioned that? <laughs> yeah? Aren't I a stinker? <laughs> <sighs> I did not give you enough credit. Keyword there being you. And he bows towards Gavel, and Gavel alone. Oh. Now, the real issue is my student here, however. I basically broke him in one hit. Is that true? This is true. Lythanda, uh, this time around, it seems, uh, is not pulling the wool over your eyes. In fact, uh, in fact, Lythander I wiped out his Octavian. entire army. In fact, like, Lythander managed to hit Octavian so hard that it forced Octavian to, uh, basically use his ultimate bulwark stance form in order to not get, uh, utterly decimated. Oh, I also killed his horse. And his army. The, and a single blow. A... With well, yes, the... force and forcing him to use his bulwark. This is all also true. Oh, shit. Something I actually forgot to mention that I should have is, uh, Leopard is a sil is a no-moon cast, which means that the active uh, silver wisdom effect of the lunar adds their essence and automatic successes to fortitude or finesse roles, including observation, study, or the pursuit of knowledge, as well as focused will roles. He's not at four will, he's at mm. seven. Oh my goodness. Which might be important, briefly. But anyway... The issue with that is, of course, I didn't see it firsthand. Question, did we have somebody recording it? There isn't technology to like, record uh, things in creation. Yes, there is. <laughs> Novari was watching for a bit before he was yeeted into the ocean by Octavian. Lifehander has, Life has perfect memory. If you book around in a day, I'm sure you can look at it. I was about to you say. You know I what? Think... Fine, yeah, sure. I pull out my, me I make a memory stone of myself and hand it to him. Okay, you spend your will for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This may lead to some unintended consequences. Of only the scene where I fire off that thing and okay, and decimate everything. You know, you might think that's impressive, but the issue is that many neophyte sorcerers are capable of doing the same thing for first circle demons. Especially when those demons are just fully born. It is impressive, yes, but impressive in the same way as hitting a bullseye is on a on a stationary target. It's impressive for a beginner. I need to know if I you're a master. Okay, give me a second then. Give me that back. Okay. 
Uh, give me a second. I'm just. I want to do another thing here. This is not oh, offensive. No. This is just to continue to show you what I have been doing. I go through almost all of my fights, and gaining as much will as I can that he will allow me to then just show him. He does. He does so, and time after time after time, well, you do get a few hmms of interest and confusion. Interesting. Have you fought a third circle demon? I pulled the War Strider <laughs> memory. That's oh, that noise that came over Discord. Oh that's not a third circle. Oh well, that's oh that's a Nefrak. That's fairly impressive, but not what I'm talking about. I will then pull me pissing off the Death Lord and basically winning in that situation. That one. That that. Gives him pause. Really? Hmm. We have been going through a lot. True. That is very true. However, there's still the issue of this island. Yes, to which, again, I won. But I need it. And if we're going to work together, then I need to finish using it. I need it. If WhatsApp existed in creation, to... Seven of City Leopard, <laughs> I need what? Island Lefander! Are you planning? Are, are you. I will let you do it if you let us workshop. You know, I've, I've been meaning to ask if the. Ritual you wanted to do is going to be completed in one week. Why do you need it for a couple decades more? Well, that's only phase one. <sighs> the reason I need the shadow land is to bring in the cargo through, you see. It's much easier to transport through the underworld than across the Dreaming Sea. At this mm. point, Ragna slides over to Gavel. I know you have absolutely no reason to trust me as... Whatever kind of hell flavor you have. But listen to this here and now. Mm hmm. Beat, him, beat the shit out of him. Take the island for yourself. And just don't look back. This is the easiest out and with the least collateral damage that you seek. And you're telling me this because... Because I fucking hate him, and he bound me to undo all of my works in life. Hmm. And if you're the one who and single-handedly mm. ruined Octavian's empire overnight, all the more reason for you to threaten to do the same to him, and have the power to back it up. He's doing a persuade mm. action on you. Uh-oh. Um... Hmm. Sun King Radiance Figure. is still on. And you can also apply Hatred of Sidereals to this, because he used to be a Sidereal yeah. in life. Fuck Sidereal Exalts. <laughs> Let's see. So what do I need to roll? This is against your resolve. It's against the static. Bu oh, never okay. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Only one success on eight dice. You. Yep. Fuck Sidereal Exalts. <laughs> Persuasion attempt failed. You're a sidereal, yes. Was. Was. Hmm. Well, then I'll at least say this. I will put that idea somewhere in the back of my head. And, uh, should things occur that would force us to get it to that point, then I may come back to that little idea you've given me. Until then, leave me alone. Scops and uh, floats off. Meanwhile, back to Lathander and Leopard. Yep. The main reason I need it is I have a 52 stage plan over the next five, 50 years. Also, by the way, don't 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 look to don't look to Aura for any more arguments. I'm fresh out. Oh no! <laughs> all I see, all I see, is, the, all he's presented is fight me or give me thing. 
I cannot argue any more out of the situation yeah. because the, because all he has given me is uh, tenuous motivations and oh. also methodology. Uh, he he appears to have no further. His resolve is too strong. I cannot influence him past uh, to break his ideal of killing everyone in that fucking city. Well, not everyone in this city. He just refuses to acknowledge the collateral damage issues that Ragnar keeps beating him over the head with. Yeah, that's my problem. Yes. He's not a good person. He's not a good person. It's hard to convince bad people to stop being bad people. Yes! That's kind of the problem with the real world, too. Mm Mm-hmm. These monstrous goals, he genuinely thinks he's right and is doing the right thing. That's the tragedy of Exalts. Yeah. I got nothing. I got nothing. I just, all I have is my gun. Cards on the table, I thought this was going to be a I fight a tonight. Keep- yeah, why am, well, I a peace- um... why am I a peacekeeper? I have a giant gun hey. that does 50 trillion damage. <laughs> oh. hey, 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 guess what? I was ready to fight until Chills decided to make it not. Instead, we are having very big moral dilemmas. <laughs> That's exalted. That's 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 tabletop RPGs I in a cannot, nutshell. Yeah, I cannot uh, allow that, that that have narrative based. Uh, I actually have items. a very interesting thing to to bring up. Aura, does this trigger any of your great curse stuff? What is it? Uh, no, because that would be the solar's mistakes present themselves in an unavoidable fashion. Well, there's also the additional condition for solar's solar's act against a, ma- a major or minor virtue. Ooh. That's one solar's, of mine as well, actually. Solar's acting against major or minor virtue, huh? It seems like a stressful uh, situation, and you get an extra exalt milestone if you do it. You mean if I fight him, despite I'd rather talk than fight, if possible? Not necessarily I'm, that. It depends on what manifestation the Great Curse would take. And we get to choose. Uh, I don't know what that would even be. I, oh, man. Um. Do I risk it for the biscuit? I have a suggestion of which break to pick. I mean, I guess. Contempt of the virtuous. The solar embodies moral sortitude and woe to anyone who falls short of their expectations. The solar will admonish and correct those who overindulge, lie, or otherwise fall short of the solar's moral expectations with angry condemnation. Should the solar's instructions be dismissed or belittled, they may use force. Contempt of the virtuous ends prematurely if the solar is provided with reasons to doubt the righteousness of their own actions. Uh, have you actually acted against a major or minor intimacy in this scene, though, is the question. I don't think I have. I, I've i been calling my uh, intimacies pretty consistently, uh, mostly as a matter of, uh, obtaining four, uh, of obtaining four dice. I just wanted two. to put that on the table for you, in case... Yeah, in, yeah. In, Depending on the direction this scene goes in. And I've been talking rather than fighting, if possible. So there's always the, opp- the, the opportunity to fight. Yeah. To fight. If, if I tr- if my trust gets broken, that, w- if my trust gets broken through, I trust people easily, this can backfire, that would, that would count for a, for a, a, a break. Yeah. Through. Okay. So let's leave that in the background for now, then, as a potential for later. For now, of course, I will. Re- out. Of course, I will reiterate. If you give me the heart eater bones, I will leave without question. You're not getting the bones. What about that war strider, though? <sighs> I heard the word mentioned, and things were a bit derailed via the. Interference of someone who should not be allowed to talk right now, he says, glaring over at Ragna. <laughs> what was this about, uh, War Strider? Mm. That's a fantastic question. I've read all about, I've read many things about War Striders and treats and treatises, but 
Due to the infrastructure on Mount Namas, I have scarce little opportunity to examine one myself. Indeed. Guards of the table, he can also help repair this instead of Sky Sundering Shadow. Ooh. Hmm. Of, of course, uh, what was see. it Lathander said? It's mine and I won't let you have it! Uh. <laughs> I'm a man-child and capable of taking anything seriously or some such. Oh my goodness. Why must you do this to my boy Lysander like this? And that was Leopard in character, not me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, you see, the, uh, the worst rider, if you must know, is a, uh, a little something we have cooked up for the, uh, for the wild hunt. It's uh, still in repairs, but something operational and effective is still better than not having a worst rider at all, it would Perhaps seem. Perhaps coming to the agreement of the following, then. You could use it for the duration of the wild hunt, and once that is dealt with, I could turn its attention towards Prasad and customizing it therein. Now, here's my question. Here's my question for you, Obsidian. Hmm. Now, you're wanting this thing, obviously, to deal with the Prasad Empire. The issue I will note okay. ahead of time is that they have access to at least one War Strider of their own, and while oh, they are very see. useful weapons to deal with entire armies all at once, one war strider in and of itself does not mean you will win a war. It is a very powerful weapon, to be sure, but it is not the single-handed decider of battles. Of course, it's it's not the legendary weapon in most fairy tales. No. No, my question for you is, what happens to it after Prasad? What do you do with it then? You're not aware of how the Silver Pact works, are you? There is a pool of artifacts and favors and teachings and sorcerer secrets that we trade around to between the youngers and elders of the Pact as we see fit. It would become part of the pool. All those who need it. And could provide sufficient justification for doing so would be allowed to use it, including Lythander. Hmm. Is there a way I can tell? Is there actually? Is Aura, that's pinging your lie detector for the first time. Okay, I was about to ask you what's. Is this, is this a lie? This this sounds too good to be true. Bullshit. Uh, what? Bullsh bullshit. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Bull. Shit. Well, I don't see any bulls in the area. Why would there be? Oh, I see. Specifically, the part of the lie is it would become Bro. part of the pacts. Uh, he, the what he said about how the pact works is accurate. He is not being truthful about putting the war strider in the communal pool. You little get, you little get. Excuse you, that is my war strider. Why are you acting as if it's a bargaining chip? It is the it is the ashen ones. I mean, he's been used. War strider. Who, who, who put? You know, it was the deadites war strider. That would be on. They don't um, exist that, anymore. Don't that was honest. repurposed as the ashen ones for the purpose of using it in the wild hunt. You know, he has been using the. You know, he has been using uh, your thing as a bargaining chip. For a uh, for a while though, I don't know how him using our thing as a, as a, a second bargaining chip is uh, of any surprise. <sighs> but yeah, you can't have it signed. Mm. Oh my goodness! Uh. All right. But yeah, we. I hope we've made our case. We're pretty capable of handling ourselves. And we really appreciate your help in the wild hunt. And if you're, and 
uh, if uh, we'd be willing to give up on the whole poisoning an entire continent thing, we'd uh, be willing to help. Oh, it's just a city, not a whole continent. A city, whatever. We'd be willing if you're willing to give up on poisoning an entire city and more. Also, yes, entire continent. I know how diseases work. <laughs> we're more than cap. We're more than. Uh, what what's the word? We're thankful for uh, your shared interest in destroying the Prasad Empire, but I would much rather avoid using uh, such uh, underhanded tactics. Yes. I, I feel like underhanded is the wrong term. We're talking about, uh, let's call it volatile. I think volatile is the correct term. Yeah, volatile uh, method of uh, means. In either way. Unless, unless you're willing to team up with us to get rid of the Prasad and not use your disease, then we may have a different discussion altogether. But that's only if you want to give up on the disease. Why are you so held up about this? It's not that big a deal. People die from disease all the time. That's not the point here. Those yeah, people a- out there that die from disease, they get it through, unfortunately, natural means. No. What you're concocting is a synthetic disease. Well, not synthetic. You know what I mean. You're Leopard. planting a bomb. Leopard. You know what nature's method for dealing with a pandemic is, right? When nature, when a pandemic presents itself in nature, nature's method of dealing with it is making sure every single person without a genetic immunity to the disease dies. And if you don't have what is known as a genetic, a person with a genetic re- resistance available, you go extinct. Oh my goodness sake. Genes don't exist um, in creation. This is an animistic setting. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What so, 10, 11, 12, mean? 13, Genes 14, don't exist. Fit. Children <laughs> exist! That is a stealth roll. Everyone make, um, make accurate plus awareness rolls. Uh, we there is this no too. way we're beating... No way we're being world, this bi- we're world not- building oh, jump that- scare. That is so, a fifteen success. This is going to be interesting. So what do you want us you to only roll? To, if fifteen, you only have to hit thirteen. Uh, I'm not hitting that. Mm-hmm. Just just as a forward, I'm not fucking hitting that. I'll still roll it. Uh, what do you want me to roll? Uh, any attribute plus awareness. All right. Plus awareness. I will do finesse. I did my. my I did my best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unless I want to retro stunt this. Then I get like two extra dice, I think. Six successes. I got seven. Hey. Uh, that would be a decent roll. Hey, this, uh, Lathander, this sounds weird. I had an automatic stunt. Oh, okay. Oh, to the, okay. Yeah. To the, uh, to the unfortunate botch. Yeah, the botch. Oh, well, at least it's two. Well, that means you don't botch, which is important. Good. Okay, good. Okay, that's great, actually. I, should have been. I appreciate None it. None of you see it until midway through this conversation. Leopard winces in pain. Ow, shit. What Kick the... something and something yelps and goes flying through the air. A little oh, mouse. Uh-huh. Poisoned. No, oh, no shit, I was not put. Po- no, no, it's fucking rat. Aura, that is not a fucking rat. That's a fucking mouse of the sun. <laughs> hey. Do you go, want to go and catch it before it falls off the cliff and into the ocean? Yes. Give me a any attribute plus athletics roll. Okay. Uh, okay. Fuck you, rat. Uh, I'm going to roll a stunt. Uh, I'm going to try for a stunt. Okay, catch let's see. Rat. Uh, fucking... Something you would automatically know is mouse. the mouse is, of course, the sun's favorite animal. 
It faces all the dangers and horrors of the day as one of the tiniest animals in all of creation and is the most brave and noble of creatures. Yo, the mouse is pretty sick. Yes. Particularly, mice of the sun are his favorite messengers and often are familiars to the solar exalted. Not always, but sometimes. They have a unique magical ability. They could copy the anima effects of, of the exalt they're bonded with. That's insanity. I attempt to kiss the mouse. <laughs> How does that help in catching it? It'll show that I mean that I mean it the, pick the, the, the uh, that I mean it the proper amount of. You know what? Yeah, if you're sprinting towards it in a respectful, kissy way. <laughs> Oh my goodness sakes. I will I will I will I will utilize the proper technique on holding a mouse. I am going to walk I'm going to walk in its direct I'm going to walk facing toward it, it uh, uh, toward its face like like how you walk toward a duck to hold it. Yes. And then I'm going to introduce myself. Hello. My name is uh Exalt name. Aura. And I'm going to pick you up now. You can also use navigate instead, because that's what survival falls under. Navigate. I think I also. Uh, uh, oh, that would uh, that would give me the uh, the the excellency too. So that's six instead of. Uh, so that would be six instead of. Uh, yeah, three. Uh, so eleven instead of ten. That and plus a stunt. Uh, no, no. Uh, no edge, no virtue boosted stunt, but hey, I gotta get somewhere. Yep. Uh, that's thirteen d ten. Let's see if we can. That's thirteen d ten. Let's see if we got it. I don't know. I, One, I just rolled two, three, three, four, four successes. Hmm. Uh, this is to catch it. Uh, actually, would this uh, do any of your principles or virtues? Compassion, right? Compassion. Save the little mouse. Add two more dice. The most. You you don't have compassion as a virtue, right? I do. Okay. Hey, it was difficulty five. That's just what you needed. Let's go. You you take off, you catch it in your hat right before it goes sailing off the cliff. Yeah! And as you... it It is injured, but alive. You quickly recognize... In the wild, mice of the sun, as rare as they are, have a general sunburst pattern. It can shift through any of the sun's five phases. Re, the solar casts. This has a nightmark cast on its back. Amir! Wait, is that right? Am I thinking of the right person? Well, there is only one night cast you know about in the area. Is it Amir? Am I, am I, am I thinking of Amir? Probably. Amir, Amir is a... I, when I when I look for nightcast, I see Amir. Yeah. Amir. You have a cute mouse. And all of a sudden, Mister Seven of City and Leopard starts wincing. <laughs> uh, w- one second, hang on. Ah, damn, it's really hot outside. And he slouches under a nearby tree. And as soon as he gets into the shade, he the pain seems to ease up. Oh. I mean, what did you put in this? No response. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I... where... Oh, give me a second. Where were we about this? Uh, fucking rats. I could have sworn I purged this island of all unnecessary animals. You killed a bunch of animals for fun? You, you killed a bunch of animals in this fucking island? Not for fun, for necessity. Why do you kill a bunch of animals? To help generate the Shadowland! Come on, man. Now that I know that you killed a bunch of animals for the damn thing to work, I'm really not not down with the plan. (laughs) (laughs) Would any of you guys like to roll a Navigate or Sagacity check to find out what just happened? I would like Uh, to roll Sagacity! I've got to Navigate, but if you want to roll Sagacity, you go... I'm going to use a... Excellency. Excellency. Awesome. Uh, Aura, you know do, I... do you show anyone else the mouse? 
Uh, hey, mouse. Uh, I think this belongs to Amir. And you're just showing us and telling us. Yes, this? I'm showing. Yeah, so okay. uh, this this little guy beat him. All right. Any attribute, uh, Rex? Uh, any attribute? Yeah. Call? Okay, because I have five sagacity. One, two, three. Six successes. Lathander, that's a success. Uh, ba, ba. Four successes. So, this has been a pretty loud conversation, and wherever the mouse came from, uh, all exalts can tap into their familiar senses, of course. We've used this ability mm-hmm. a couple times previously in the campaign. Hi, Pedro. Yep. Pedro. Hopkins. Hopkins. So, Amir presumably I don't have, I don't was watching. Have an animal. I don't have an animal friend, I'm oh. really sad. You can get a mouse of your own if you want later. <gasps> Especially since the mouse can seal oaths for you. <gasps> That's amazing. That's awesome. Deal mouse! Deal mouse! <laughs> so, Deal mouse. Uh, Deal you flushing through the past life perfect memory archive of Fanner, and Gallo would remember this too. Mice of the Sun occasionally carry disease. Not a normal oh. disease, a supernatural disease that can affect the exalted. I don't know if there's an exact mm. name for it, the plague of the sun, essentially. It, m- mice of the sun are sometimes known to bite the wicked and infect them, with a disease that turns them into a creature of darkness. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Well. I'm well. sorry to tell you this, Leopard. Your life's over. You're a creature of dark. You're a creature of darkness now. Oh. Honestly surprised I wasn't already. Oh well. Hmm. The disease has a bit more symptoms other than that. It specifically allows targeting via a... Uh, if they repent, then the sun withdraws his displeasure from them, but it also means they can be targeted by any anti-creatures of darkness effects. And guess right. what kind of exalted has a lot of effects that hurt creatures of darkness? Solars. Uh, oh my goodness. Amir's helping! Asterisk. Amir is helping. Surprisingly. Who knew my husband would help? Amir is helping. I'm sure Amir it's nothing I can't dispel the other Nancy if I wanted to. Uh, it is not. Ragna is shaking his head. Like, no. And, uh, Leopard, you, I gotta tell you, um, you really, really don't know what you're doing, do you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I'm infected with the disease, I could use this on them instead of the dancing disease. Hmm. Thank you, Mouse. The mouse looks horrified. That's not what the mouse wanted. Mm. <laughs> uh, this guy really doesn't learn, huh? All right, now I guess we do have to beat you to get you out of here. Parker, how do we get here? Ooh. How do we get here? Uh. And now for next week. And we next have a little bit more we can take care of here first. Oh, goodness. Uh, anyone want to really. send... Anyone want to try and get in touch with him here, either to thank or yell at him? All right, hold on. Uh, uh, unfortunately, me. now he has now Leopard has a new disease to work with. Yeah, I would like to try to communicate uh, through oh, Pedro. Yeah. A prayer oh, roll. Yeah. All exalts are valid targets for prayer. You could pray at your husband. Sure, <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> okay, that's pr- that prayer's performance. Amazing. You have an excellency for that. I'm not using him, Excellency. That is seven successes. Okay. What do you want to say to him in the prayer? Dear Amir, I appreciate the effort, but I think you just made things a little worse here. He now thinks he has a new disease to play with. Sincerely yours, Lythander. Again, I'm not mad nor disappointed you in this. You wouldn't know how insane this son of a bitch is. But thank you anyway. Add, add the part. Uh, add, add the part of me. Uh, add the part how. He uh, also, he he's can... he has a disease that he's trying to get a disease with uh, with dancing to take okay. care of Prasad. So if you want to help, add, with add us the part stop how that, he, that'd be appreciative. Add a part about how he he's about to go fucking full colonial colonialist mode on these motherfuckers. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll do that. 
Also, also tell him his mouse is cute. Oh, also, uh, Or wants to say that her mouse is adorable, and I will also say, I I will try to protect him before, uh, until we get back to you. Scrolling up to Universal Charms, give me a moment. Under Athletics, of which he has a crazy high, he has, he probably has athletics. the highest athletics out of anyone in this campaign. Yay. Lightning, wow. sp- lightning speed. Oh, Spend one moment. get here. Double eight on a movement action involving running or swimming to any venture, including foot races, chases, or swift escapes. Blah, 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 blah. Racing hair method. Spend two most to do one of the following. Move three range bands across the ground. It's a simple movement, actually. Quickly sprint to a location within a few days. Um, blah, 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 blah. Essence three. The exalt instantly travels a distance she can move with a simple movement action, ignoring any obstacles or hazards between her or her destination. Let's do one of the following. Three range bands. Uh, yep, he is. <laughs> You get a response. Fuck, 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 I'm on my way. Fuck! The response is sent via infallible messenger, by the way. The sprite thing. Yelling with his voice. Turns out he's a sorcerer. Ah, I was gonna say, he's probably, he's probably one of those where, wait, Lythander's not mad, nor disappointed. That's bad news. That means what I did didn't work, but he appreciates the effort. Were you trying? Oh, you were trying to ga- What were you trying to do? Oh, no, that wasn't trying to gaslight him. That was basically letting him know that. Yeah, no, uh, normally I'd be criticizing you, but you actually did a very good job. It's just that it backfired. Yeah. Things happened. Yeah, this guy. I mean, I will say this is a much less worse disease than, uh, than the dancing plague, because this doesn't kill you. It's also probably way harder to spread. Like, the contagion is way easier to contain. At the same time... At the same time, there are issues with the transmission method that have not come to light. This is still a plan you need to stop. Absolutely. Oh, brother. Um... Brother, Something on the reveal. Now brother. I need. Now I need to finish statting out Amir. He might be a guest star in the next fight. Oh boy! Amir, how do we? How do we stop this maniac from going colonialist? Colonialist on the on the evil empire. You kill him. Yeah, well, you know yes, I, that I is the like, correct you know, answer. I feel like that was. I feel like I kind of walked into that. That one. was the easy answer. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, here, hey, everyone. Uh, Chills. Uh, Aura's player here. Uh, apolo- <laughs> I'd like to form- formally apologize for two hours and thirty sessions attempting to stop us from uh, attempting to get us through this encounter without fighting, uh, and then ending uh, after two hours and forty minutes, realizing That's that nothing. we have to fight. <laughs> realizing that we have to fight anyway. I built a whole statue in boss battle. You did. Yeah, but remember last time you did that and I just totally made it so that wasn't a boss fight. Yeah. Unfortunately, that wasn't an Essence 4 exit with anti- with social defense charms. Oh. Aren't we Essence yeah, fairy? Yes. Yeah. I need it. By the way, I really need to, uh... Oh, I could just make myself Rex. big. Rex, yeah. uh, I have to tell you. Yeah? I really need to get some, uh... I really need to get, need to get some anti-social defense method. You mean persuasion charms? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Alright, so, uh. I can't wait for. Or, is this gonna be next week? Because, cards, or, yeah. Or, cards yes. on the table. It was gonna be really fucking hard to persuade him to do this without a fight and or without giving him the War Strider and or the bones. The bones. The bones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You almost, almost did it, yeah, did it, but right? something out of detail before we fade to black and finish that. Now he actually looks kind of pissed, like, wait, that mouse was... I guess a Jastity roll boosted by an excellency to see if he recognizes what that mouse is. Sure, me? No. Or him. Him. He. Oh. Ten successes. Oh. Ten! Ten. Uh-oh. Note his die pool sizes, by the way. Man, his dipole yeah, size. Yeah, eighteen really dice. Yeah. An excellency is being used here. I will note for that. 
Okay, yeah. so... Wait, how does he have that much dice? Even with an excellency. Uh, NPC dice pools. I can get, oh, I can get that yeah. high. I can get that high. Yeah. I mean, I could with a stunt. Actually, I can't with a stunt using an excellency. I, I can get higher with a stunt. No. You actually can if you use the deadly beast man transformation. Yeah. Oh, the jokes write themselves. Anyways. The mouse of the sun... He turns. There's another one of your solar circle who's not here right now, is there? Oh, you remember my uh, my uh, wife, right? Righteous knife, yeah. Hi. Uh, yes, th- I mean, you you think that we... You think that I would not be in touch with my wife slash husband? Yeah, well, they're, they transitioned also. Alternatively, gender presentation often changes between incarnations, but that's neither here nor there. True. Remember, I was, remember, I was a very bussin' lady at one point. Were you? Yeah. I see you don't remember that I told you is that gender is a performance, and we chosen of Luna can do what we like with that. I uh, no, I know. Oh, I know, honey. I know. Regardless, sorry, sorry, I don't have perfect memory, so it's hard to actually. So my, it's in my nature to forget. That's fair. Anyways, oh, it's my nature to forget. That's why it's funny to have perfect memory. So, what was it your what was it your spouse was trying to do then? Hmm? Amir, what were you trying to do? I actually do not know what my husband was trying to do. I'm assuming they wanted to, I don't know, help with their conflict a bit. I should note at this point: the second the bite happened. Aura, the uh, your 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 devil caster is jerking towards him in a way it sometimes does towards powerful creatures of darkness. Oh, also, uh, just to let you know that I will probably have zero motes at the beginning of this fight, but I am at I am at ten. That's okay. Onic? I can un- I can uncommit. I'm iconic. Ooh, I'm iconic pre battle. I haven't spending some motes. I'm. I'm probably at, uh, at active at least. I'm not at iconic. Uh, I'm I don't at, know if uh, the fight's gonna happen immediately, but yeah, I'm definitely at burning. I don't think Gavel spent any motes. No, not not a single <laughs> one. Actually, watching a uh, very got... fucked up sequence of events. I'm mm. also I'm also starting the fight at two power because of um, what do you call it? Um... Slinking Radiance, because uh, my friends yeah. defended against my friends defended against social influence, and he starts off with seven will. Oh. That, that's scary. I don't want to... Unfortunately, well, it, w- it would have been really fucking difficult to convince him to leave without giving him shit. Like, yeah, the big shit. Yeah, I noticed. I was, I was, uh, I was kind of chasing my own tail for a while. It there. was. Unfortunately, you didn't roll high enough, I think, for a lot of the persuade actions. But hey, you can still you can still get all your stuff done if you beat the shit out of him. I do. I do. Not, I I really need to need to up my presence over the course of the next few sessions. Probably, yeah. Uh... Oh, something else I'll reveal before we close out. Speaking of sidereal martial arts, uh, the requirements to learn prismatic arrangement have been changed slightly in the final edition. You might qualify to learn the first one now. Oh. Hey. Well, you need a minor milestone still, but in terms of you, yeah, because you know martial, some martial arts stuff already. Mm, what's the and you have the to scroll. What's the requirement? Uh, instead of the instead of the specific ability ones, it just it just for awareness, embassy, or sagacity. You need to have any combination of those three abilities at four to unlock four magical materials for him for purchase. All right, I'm currently at eight total. You have also unlocked Soul Fire Shaper form for purchase and Games of Divinity form for purchase. Ooh. Huh. What's what's still locked behind the door? Th- the main prismatic arrangement charm. But we'll go over those later. Next time is the boss fight. Yay! Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. Next time, fu- kicking a shogun at Era Lunar's teeth in. How many teeth? Yay. Many teeth. All of them. Also, also, also the sidereal no, ghost is probably going to be a problem. Also, hey, he has a, bound, a bunch of bound ghosts and shit. Hey, question. Is there any way that I can unbind them and or make them bound to me? Yeah, speaking we can go of- over that in the next session. And Land. speaking of boss fight, in the next Ruin Runners, 
The boys will be fighting oh a big goodness. boss fight. It's gonna suck. It's gonna be cool. So, so many bosses this this next these next upcoming sessions. Yes. Yeah, to them. Give, goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to Fate Breakers. We here at the Action Economy crew are proud to bring you this and other AP content, like Tomb of the Red Giant, the first half of our complete JoJo's Bizarre Adventure AP, as well as Rune Runners, our Icon AP. We'll also have a Patreon by the time you hear this. If you like what you've heard so far, feel free to drop us a little bit of money if you can afford to do so, and we can bring you even more content in the future. APs live and die by word of mouth, so if you liked us, please uh, drop us a follow, like, share, retweet, whatever you can think of to help us out. We are excited to bring you more bi-weekly content in two weeks from now for the next Fate Breakers and other episodes time permitting. See you then.